I'll take you on. I don't understand. Why is this happening? <laughs> Catalina, please! Say this is all a mistake! Now, hand the girl over to me. Catalina! Why would you go back to the Empire after all this time? Yeah, come on! We promised to reach the end of the sky together! What happened? If you won't cooperate, then raise your sword, Graham. There has to be a reason for all this. Lyria was once a prisoner of the Earth Day Empire, kept as a valuable research subject. Catalina betrayed the Empire to free Lyria. They escaped together, but the Empire's hounded them ever since. We met when Catalina and Lyria fled to my hometown, with their pursuers not far behind. I was wounded defending them, and to save me, Lyria linked her life force with my own. Vern and I had always dreamed of adventure, and alongside Lyria and Catalina, we finally got our chance. But now, Catalina stands before us, Imperial soldiers at her side, demanding that I return Lyria to her. Nothing makes sense anymore. Supposed to pick up Catalina tomorrow, yeah? So it's about time we set a course for Albion. You two got everything in order? Is it time already? I feel like I haven't seen Catalina in forever. It's only been ten days. I think this is the first time we've been separated for so long. Yeah, I'm surprised she could stand to let you out of her sight at all. <laughs> she must really trust you, huh, Gran? <laughs> she said she had important business to take care of. I hope it worked out all right. Well, I wouldn't worry. Come on. We better get ready. Yeah, time's a wasting. Let Eo know, too. Will do. Okay, I'm all set. Uh, wow. Hold it! Uh -huh. With Eugen and Rosetta away, we have to be extra careful. Are you sure you're ready? Ha! You don't gotta tell us. This ain't our first rodeo, Missy. Shut it, lizard breath. I'm just saying it pays to be on your toes. Uh, hey! I ain't no lizard! Right. There are monsters all over Albion Citadel. We don't want to be attacked before we meet up with Catalina. Exactly! Albion is no regular city. Right. Let's stay alert. We've got a strong tailwind. It looks like clear skies all the way along the Galonzo Albion Skyway. If this keeps up, we should be in Albion by tomorrow morning. <sighs> I hope Catalina's doing well. Sailed for Albion, expecting to find the Catalina we know and love. But that's not who was waiting for us. I wish I could say what happened next was a dream. But reality was much stranger.
A world of chaos and confusion opened its jaws, ready to swallow us whole. <laughs> Here at last! Now, where were we supposed to meet Catalina? Hey, before we head out, could you help me with some cargo? Gotta unload all the empty barrels and crates to make space for fresh supplies. We have some time before we're supposed to meet Catalina. If we work together, we can clear it up quick. <sighs> Easy there. Isn't that a little heavy for you? I'm fine. I'm a Skyfarer too, you know. And the faster we finish unloading, the sooner I can see Catalina. True. <laughs> Keep up the good work, then. I'll go grab another crate. Lyria, can I help you with that? Huh? Oh, thanks, Bran. It did feel a little unwieldy. I nearly tipped over. Um, here, can you take this side? Huh? Thought we finished that one a while ago. Ugh! We've got a stowaway! It must have snuck in when we loaded this cargo on board! We can't let them make a mess of our cargo hold. Leave this to me! Still a little early, and the place we agreed to meet isn't that far from here. Still, you know what this place is like. Oh, right. It's full of monsters. Exactly. They let monsters run wild inside the walls to train up the Academy cadets or whatever. We don't know what we might run into, so we're gonna wind up being late if we don't head out soon. You've got a point. I forgot what a crazy place this is. Yeah, let's head out. We don't want to keep Catalina waiting. Mmm, a lot of clouds rolling in. But that's not a bad omen. I looked suspicious. Really opened up, huh? I wonder where Catalina is. Maybe something came up and she's running late. After all, she knows a lot of people in Albion. It might just be the weather, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Hey guys, can we at least get out of the rain? It's starting to come down pretty hard. We're gonna get soaked. Well, if it isn't the test subject who got away. Ursae Empire uniforms? Is this some kind of joke? Give up the girl. Quietly, if you know what's good for you. <sighs> We're surrounded. How'd they get the drop on us? Uh, more importantly, what the heck are Imperial soldiers doing here? I'm not crazy, right? The Ursae Empire fell! Beats me what's going on. They don't look like they're playing around. Well, I'm not about to let them have Lyria. Let's bust our way out of here. I'll take care of Lyria! Graham, you handle those soldiers! I gave you a chance to do this the easy way. Too bad you weren't smart enough to take it. You'll never take Lyria from us! Yeah, 
What's this all about? Imperials? Really? Wasn't expecting to see those faces again. Do you think Catalina's okay? Catalina spent her academy days here in Albion. I'm sure she'll be fine. For now, at least. Report confirmed. It's the girl. She and that crew were spotted in the vicinity. Good. Spread out. No way! They sniffed us out? Eo and I'll take the sides. Grant, can you handle the mooks in the middle? Yeah, I've got this. Stick close to us, Lyria. Okay. What exactly is going on? In any case, we have to get out of here. We forced them to retreat, but they'll be back soon with backup. Not to mention, this city lets freaking monsters run free and everything. Can't drop your guard for a second. Yeah, that was definitely a surprise welcome the first time we landed in Albion. I know the Academy cadets need the monsters for their daily training exercises, but still. I remember our first trip here. Wasn't it the Empire who told us to come to Albion in the first place? Yes, they told us they wanted to make amends. But it turned out to be a bait and switch. Catalina gave herself up to stay in Albion. Yeah, we ended up having to fight Vera. The Lord Commander herself. Forever. It made me feel so sad. Just thinking about what happened back then is making me a little worried. It's gonna be fine, Lyria. Let's head back to the rendezvous point and see if she's waiting for us. There they are! Call for reinforcements! Whoops, that was too long of a stroll down memory lane. Can't take any more detours like that. Where are you, Catalina? I have to thank you again, Vera. You've made this vacation one to remember. Please, Catalina, think nothing of it. In fact, I wish to apologize. I should have made your stay infinitely more comfortable. Huh. Come now, you took great care of me. And better yet, I'm glad to see you fulfilling your duties as Lord of Albion. I commend you, Vera. You remind me that I shouldn't rest on my laurels either. Please, do not exaggerate. I have only ever endeavored to fulfill my obligations. Always humble, even in the face of honest praise. You know, I've always liked that about you. A shame we must part so soon. I truly wish you could stay longer. These past ten days have transported me back to our time together in the Academy. <clears throat> As for tomorrow, when you rendezvous with the crew, I shall be there to see you off myself. Thank you, Vera. 
I couldn't leave without a proper farewell. Nor could I. Good night, Catalina. See you tomorrow. Is she not here either? Could she have left campus? Catalina's not one to act with such haste. I have a very bad feeling about this. This does not bode well. Monsters of this sort should not be roaming Albion. What is going on in this city? Worse yet, what if I cannot find Catalina before these monsters do? Dearest Catalina, please hold on. Your knight is on her way. Lieutenant, we've located the classified girl and her crew, but they managed to fight us off. Apprehension will prove difficult. Don't worry, soldier. I knew they would resist. I'll go get her myself. She won't slip through my fingers this time. Catalina, back with the Empire? And she sounds so callous talking of Lyria. trouble. But if I do not trail Catalina now, I could lose track of her. And yet, I cannot leave my citizens to their doom. Please forgive me, Catalina. What's happening? What are monsters like these doing here? You are safe now. Did it injure you? Lord Vera! I owe you my life. I shall accept your gratitude after dispatching this vermin. Though I have no pressing matters to attend to. Luminiera, let's make this quick! Getting away. Ugh, these guys don't let up. This is getting us nowhere. Let's make a break for the ship. No, wait! If Catalina shows up to meet us, she'll run into all those soldiers. Damn. We can't hold these guys off forever. Graham, what do we do? <sighs> Let's retreat for now. Catalina will probably grasp the situation before she gets too close. She isn't the type to charge in without thinking. But, Bran... If she were here, she'd tell us to put your safety first, Lyria. I'm with Bran. Now let's get out of here, before they block off all our escape routes! <sighs> Catalina, I hope you're all right. Whew, I think we managed to give him the slip. Now we just need to put some distance between us and Albion. Let's weigh anchor and... <gasps> you guys, look! Uh, Catalina? Thank goodness you're all right. All right? What concern is it of yours? Uh, I was just... Lyria, wait. She seems off somehow. Whatever! Let's just lift off already! Hurry up and get on board, Catalina! <laughs> I'm not accustomed to taking orders from infants. 
Do you think I'll be lenient simply because you have children among your ranks? Huh? Using children to buy yourself time to escape. What a stunning act of cowardice. You're all coming with me. Don't even try to run. Just what is going on with you? I'm doing my duty. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, you will hand over Lyria. Catalina, what's wrong with you? All of a sudden, you're... <sighs> Catalina! Enough stalling. Prepare yourselves! You're coming with me. One way or another. Vern, you take care of Lyria. Uh, Catalina! Even if it's Catalina, you got this! Catalina... Catalina... Oh, uh, not bad, Grand. Try to block this! Quest clear. That was a close one. the opponent. Catalina, please listen to us. What's happened to you? I am a knight of the Empire. That is reason enough to raise my sword against you. No. Catalina and the soldiers with her certainly look like Imperials. But the Erste Empire collapsed. It doesn't make sense. Lieutenant Catalina! we received word from the main force. Hmm. I see. Understood. Prepare for immediate departure. Yes, ma'am! This is only a temporary reprieve, Gran. I will return for the girl. You have my word on that. Catalina... No, wait! Tell me what happened to you, Catalina! Why are you doing this, after all we've been through together? <sighs> Catalina! Is she... trying to tell us something? <gasps> Am I seeing things? Or was that the primal beast Catalina made a pact with? Yes. That was Ares. She was asking for help. I think she might know what happened to Catalina. Gran! I'm so glad you're all okay! Sierra! Are you here on business? Yes, and I've been in a tizzy trying to find out what these Imperial soldiers are doing here. So not even you know what's going on. I'm afraid not. But I've been hearing strange rumors from my business partners. Word is, there have been odd occurrences all across the Skydom. Everything's in an uproar. Sierra, it's Almothea. Almothea's next. Oh dear. You all in a flutter. The Empire has its sights set on Almothea, the headquarters of the crew of Enforcers. It sounds like their forces are converging on the island. Then Catalina's probably headed there too. Yeah, that must have been why she left so suddenly. Gran, I... I know, Lyria. I don't like this either. Let's go after Catalina first. Then we can figure out what's happening all over the Skydom. So what are we waiting for? We have a crew member to collect. Right! I want to get to Amalthea as soon as possible. This is only a temporary reprieve, Gran. I will return for the girl. You have my word on that. I've never seen Catalina threaten Gran. Has the world gone mad?
must go after her and... No. My city is in peril. Even if the Empire departs, their foul monsters will stalk the streets yet. My duties as Lord of Albion come first. They must. I commend you, Vera. You remind me that I shouldn't rest on my laurels either. Catalina, this is what you would want, isn't it? Then I shall entrust your safety to Gran. Just this once. doing on Amothea? Well, looks like Sierra's friend was on the money. The place is crawling with Imperials. Surround them. Cut off all possible escape routes. Don't let them leave the island. If we try to fight them all, we'll never get out of here. Uh, um, excuse me? We want to talk to Catalina. Do you know where she is? What do you want with the lieutenant? What's your angle? An angle. These guys aren't going to listen to reason, Lyria. At least now we know Catalina's on the island. We just have to track her down ourselves. No way! Um, so... This is really important. Lieutenant Catalina! The girl and her crew have been spotted on Amalthea. What? Did they follow us here? I don't know. But the girl said she was here to see you, Lieutenant. <sighs> Understood. I'll engage them. Make the necessary preparations. Yes, ma'am! Just what are those Skyfarers up to? Fan out! Even they can't beat us if we overwhelm them with sheer numbers. Damn it. Someone needs to get to Catalina. Gran, think you and Lyria can make a break for it? I think so. But what about you? We'll handle things here. Splitting them up should make it easier for us. And we're not gonna lose to this bunch of nobodies. You heard her. Get out of here. <sighs> All right. Okay. But promise me you'll run if things look bad. You don't have to tell me. Let's do this. Stick close, kiddo. I'm not a kid! That's our cue. Let's find Catalina and get to the bottom of this. <sighs> you okay, Lyria? Need to take a break? No. I have to see Catalina. I hardly believed the report when I heard it. You actually did follow us. Just what are you after? Catalina! Please, can't we just talk? Certainly, when you're safely aboard my ship. Ugh, are you still trying to get Lyria? I believe I've made that perfectly clear. It's equally clear that you have no intention of complying. I don't want to resort to violence. But if that's what it takes, then so be it. Catalina, what's going on with you? Commence operation! Be careful, okay? No way! Not getting away! Go for it! <laughs> I don't understand. Why is this happening? <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Now, hand the girl over to me. Catalina! Why would you go back to the Empire after all this time? Yeah, come on! We promised to reach the end of the sky together! What happened? If you won't cooperate, then raise your sword, Gran. You're not yourself. Something must have happened to you. Nothing that concerns you. Especially seeing as you continue to defy me. But we've been traveling together for all this time. I don't understand. Yeah, the whole reason you left the Empire was to protect Lyria. I don't buy that you suddenly decided to go back to the Empire. Enough chatter. If neither party will cede, the matter must be settled with steel. Ares, let your strength inhabit my sword. Be serious. I don't plan to hold back, Gran. Perhaps you'll find my sword more persuasive than my tongue. Now, draw your blade. Draw your sword, Gran. Time to settle this. I guess I don't have a choice. Helena, please tell me why. Blossoms and crystal blades of fraud! <laughs> Catalina. Why not block this? Finish! <sighs> not bad, Gran. <laughs> Quest clear. That was a close one. <sighs> Lieutenant! Please, fall back! <sighs> Apologies. Wait! Don't go! <coughs> that girl's mere presence was enough to inhibit Ares's powers. No wonder she's such a priority for the Empire. Catalina, please! I can't stand to see you like this! <laughs> she's in really bad shape. I don't know if she can handle another battle. When we saw Ares in Albion, she was asking for help. Can you ask Ares what's going on? I'll try. Huh? What do you think you're doing? An unknown power is trying to swallow up the Skydon. A power neither of the stars nor of the sky? Huh? The heck does that mean? Strange power trying to swallow the Skydom. Sierra said there were weird things happening all over Fanta Grande. Catalina's memory loss must be related somehow. Can you tell us what caused all of this? What? Someone wanted this to happen? Who? Huh? Ares? What is that thing? Where did it come from? What's going on? Her voice. It's fading. Oh no, she's losing control. <laughs> Lieutenant Catalina. Harry's, what are you doing? Mad? Stand down! Well, I don't like the looks of this. Gran, you ready? I better be. Catalina, can I count you in? Very well. 
A truce for the time being. There's something strange going on. Primal beasts don't just rampage for no reason. I have a feeling all this craziness is connected. But first things first, we have to get Ares under control. Yet to end. Ares? Catalina! Lyria! Is this Almothea? I thought I was an Albion. Wait, does this mean you're. Oh, thank goodness! Catalina, you're back to normal! Back to normal? What are you talking about? Well... I'm so sorry. I can't believe I put you all through that. It's okay. The important thing is we have you back. I'm glad you got your memories back, Catalina. But you look pretty rough. Are you gonna make it? No cause for alarm. At least for the moment. More importantly... It looks like Ares is back to normal, too. Just what happened to us? Just a hunch. But I think that black, crystalline monster must have something to do with it all. It seemed like it deliberately interrupted Lyria when she tried to ask Ares for information. So what was Ares trying to tell us? She said that someone was trying to use a strange power to swallow up this Skydom. But... She didn't know who. Must be some shady customer if they sick that crystal on us. That's an understatement. Whoever it is can alter people's memories and send primals into a rampage at will. Sierra did say there have been unusual incidents all over the sky, though. Are you okay? Oh, speak of the devil. Hi, Catalina. You look like your old self again. Thanks to Gran and the others. They lost their leader. Maybe that's why. Why what? Well, the Imperial troops who invaded Amalthea have begun to withdraw. It sounds like they're all heading toward the Vault's duchy now. Vaults? We better follow them. Archduke Sokka might be in trouble. The thing is, Vaults isn't the only island with problems. There are more islands under attack? Or is it something else? Well, you see... I heard there was unrest in Auguste, but it's a little hard for me to explain. How so? Well, I don't really have enough information yet. All I know is, something very suspicious is going on. So Vaults and Auguste are both in the gym. Eo is from Vaults, and Eugen is in Auguste right now. Let's find Rackham and Eo and get back to the Grand Cipher. Then we can figure out our next move. Right. Let's go. I'll follow your lead, Gran. We've got a lot of questions and no answers, so we better get sleuthing. There they go. <laughs> this is rich. Repairing the warped laws of causality, eh? Only a singularity would have a chance. Hmm. Things are about to get interesting. Uh, I think I feel my motivation rising. Time I join the fun. Don't you think, Bubs? I'm so glad you survived. The clash of two singularities. 
This should be a climax to end all climaxes. Snoring that loud, what would the captain think? No, wait, there's someone else nearby. <sighs> Damn it, where'd it go? Who are you? Oh, there's a stroke of luck. Did you see a tanuki run this way? Let me change my question. What exactly are you doing here? What's it to you? Oh, a katana. You out here to break in a new blade on the local wildlife, too? Hmm. So you're the cause of all the unrest in this forest. You've made it very difficult for me to continue my meditation. Oh, yeah? So what? I'm in no mood for back chat. So shut your yap unless you want to learn the hard way. Unrepentant malice. And no ears to listen. Looks like steel is the only language you'll understand. You cocky little brat. You'll regret talking back to me. Farewell, fool. What the hell? I didn't even see her blade move. Sir, the test subject has been spotted on Amalthea Island. Wait, is he talking about Lyria? It couldn't be. Understood. Everyone back to the ship. We leave immediately. All troops withdraw. Yes, sir. You there. I'll spare your life this time. You're just lucky I have better places to be. Those people were Imperial soldiers, weren't they? But the Empire collapsed. Why would any of them still be chasing Lyria? Captain, Lyria, hold on. Your big sister is on her way. Catalina, why are you doing this? An impressive display, Gran. But it looks like I have the upper hand. Get up, Gran! You can't quit now! I can't afford to waste any more time here. This next blow will finish you. Wait! Catalina, stop! Silence! This ends here! <laughs> Where did you come from? Lieutenant Catalina! We'll handle her. All of you, fall back. This woman is not to be taken lightly. Nor Maya? It's all right now. Don't you worry. Nor Maya! Catalina is... She's... Yes, she doesn't seem like herself at all. Just what happened to her? Hey, watch out! Here she comes! Ares, come forth! <laughs> Aggression. Has that primal lost control? Come on, then. I won't let you hurt Gran and the others. Problem solved, at least. Thanks, Butterfly Girl! 
Boy, did you ever show up at the right time. Are you all right, Normaya? I'm just fine. What about you, Grand? Are you hurt anywhere? <laughs> He's a tough cookie. He won't crumble just because you shake the bag. My apologies, Normaya. I'm grateful for your help. Thanks to you, Catalina's back to normal. Thank you so much. Really, it was nothing. Like you're hungry, Lyria. Want me to fix you a snack? <laughs> that would be nice. Let's head back to the ship. <laughs> Are y'all okay? Sierra. Hi, Catalina. You look like your old self again. Hmm. So they lost their leader. Maybe that's why. Why what? What happened? Well. The Imperial troops who invaded Amalthea have begun to withdraw. It sounds like they're all heading toward the Vault's duchy now. Vaults? Yes. And there's been unrest in Auguste, too. But it's a little hard for me to explain. Eo is from Vaults. But Eugen is in Auguste right now. Let's all get back to the Grand Cipher. We can figure out our next move from there. Right. And your big sister's here now. I won't let anything happen to you. Interesting. It's not often that a plot twist can catch me by surprise. I wonder if this is a side effect of that whole warped causality shtick. Well, nothing to do now but sit back and observe. <laughs> forget looking into the sky above my hometown of Zinkenstel and seeing that gleaming light fall to earth. It was like she came from the clouds, her hair as blue as the sky. Her name was Lyria. The Imperial Army was after her. I did what I could to keep her safe, but I was gravely injured and left hovering in the space between life and death. She brought me back from the brink by linking her life force with mine. Since then, our souls have been intertwined. You could say we're like two hearts beating as one. That was the start to our adventure. Dodging the Earth Day Empire, keeping Zinkin still safe. Oh, and also trying to make it to Estelucia. That's the island of the Astros, where my dad should be waiting for me. But skyfaring doesn't always go how you plan. <coughs> Is everyone all right? What happened? Did we just drop out of the sky? We escaped on a sky skimmer, meant to seat only three or four. But, uh, escape might be the wrong word. I'm sorry. I never imagined piloting an airship would be so difficult. Lyria, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. What about you, Cheetah? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do we have here? Repairs aren't gonna get this thing flying again. So, is this your airship? Well, yes, but who are you? I get it. You're an airship crew, right? But by the looks of you, you can't have been around for long. A crew? That's not a bad idea. How about we all form one? Ha! Ah, you can forget that. It's clear you don't have an expert among you to pilot an airship. If you plan on calling yourself a crew, you need at least one helmsman on board before anything gets started. A helmsman, huh? He's right. 
If we plan to continue this journey, we're surely going to need one. Sure, sure. But what's with that guy? Saying his peace and leaving out of nowhere. Never mind him. We should focus on getting some supplies for our journey. Maybe there's a town nearby? Looks like we'll have to cross these grasslands then. You're on Monster Bashing duty, Cheetah. Since setting out with Lyria, we've had a whole sky's worth of adventures and met a whole airship's load of friends. But saving the Sky Realm is not a walk on the beach, so occasionally I would give our crew time to relax back on their home islands. Lyria, Vern, and I were coming off such a vacation, so we decided to meet back up with Rockham and Eo. And then together, we charted a course for our next destination. Writing in your journal? Jada, oh! don't scare me like that. Sorry, sorry. You know, you're really good at keeping that thing up to date. I could never stick with it. <laughs> I don't want to forget any of the memories we've made with our friends on this journey. You can say that again. So much has happened since we left Sinkin' Still. It was in Port Breeze, after meeting Rackham, that we officially decided to call ourselves a crew. Aboard our trusty airship, the Grand Cipher, we traveled all over the Fanta Grande Skydom, tackling missions great and small. Eventually, the time came when we had to strike back against the Empire. It took all of us working together, but we managed to put a stop to their sinister plans. After that, Earth Day changed, and Lyria could finally live without constantly looking over her shoulder. But I have to admit, I'm still not used to being called a hero. All I did was beat the bad guys, you know? We really did save this item, didn't we? <laughs> well, what were we going to do? Abandon everyone? I feel a little antsy getting called a hero. But it ain't bad. Oops! The plume I had tucked in here almost blew away. Whoa! Where'd you get an Archangel's feather? The Archangels. Now there's a journal entry. And a big one at that. You see, Fanta Grande faced a disaster on a scale the skies had never seen. The four Primarchs lost control of the Tetra Elements, which in turn threatened to plunge every island into the Crimson Horizon. Somehow, we managed to defeat the Archangel responsible for the calamity, Sandalphon. But that was only a taste of the trouble to come. A mysterious figure named Beelzebub defeated the Supreme Primarch, Lucifer, leader of all Archangels. A shadow fell over the skies, making our previous problems look mild by comparison. One hope remained, however. And it was, strangely enough, the treacherous Sandalphon. He joined forces with us to make amends and save the world. With his help, we were able to defeat the immediate threat. But there was more lurking beneath the surface. Namely, the joint schemes of the fallen Archangel Belial and his new partner in crime, Beelzebub. Archangels and fallen angels clashed, and Belial revived his creator, the Astral Lucilius. But the Astral awoke with a plot of his own, something he called the Grand Finale. Turned out, like all good bad guys, he just wanted to end the world. He came close, too. He had powers no one had ever seen before. In the end, we were able to defeat him and Lucilius was banished to a rift between dimensions. The Archangel's story, crazy as it got, finally came to a close. Gradually, life in our realm returned to normal. It's hard to believe all of that was real. Sure is. Glad the nightmare's over, though, and that we pulled through together. Besides, what's skyfaring without a taste of danger? I think we could take worse. <laughs> Your glass might be a little too full, Jita. Hey, you two! Huh? What is it, Rackham? So 
supposed to pick up Catalina tomorrow, yeah? Well, it's about time we set a course for Albion. You two got everything in order? Is it time already? I feel like I haven't seen Catalina in forever. <laughs> it's only been ten days. We sailed for Albion, expecting to find the Catalina we know and love. But that's not who was waiting for us. Instead, we were greeted by a world we didn't recognize. One more chaotic and confused than we remembered. This is bad. We're completely cut off from the others. We never expected the Earth's Day Empire to muster this large of an invasion force. Quite fixated on that one goal, aren't they? Quick, scatter! <sighs> I don't like this. Their interference with the Primal Beast has gone further than we thought. They plan to draw out the Primal's power by triggering rampages, then take control of them. Lancelot! Charlotta! This is no time to get distracted. You two handle the Primal. Leave the minions to me. You heard me! Get out of here! Percival. <clears throat> to recapture Lyria, conquering cities on every island by overwhelming force, with no apparent thought to subtlety or strategy. The same impulse came over me, so strong that I was compelled to attack the people I cherish most. Lyria? What's wrong? I'm sensing a very distorted aura. Is that dark essence? That's the stuff that makes primal beasts go crazy, right? Yes, an imitation of the Astral's power, developed by the Empire. They used it to amplify the power of primal beasts, sending them into rampages. If they're using it to control Colossus, then Vaults... No, not just the Duchy, or Fremel Island. The entire Skydom is in danger. You're not kidding. Think of the damage that Juggernaut could cause, running around pumped full of Dark Essence. the Empire trash my hometown again. Hey, don't go running off by yourself. <sighs> Kids. You can hardly blame her. Come on, let's not fall behind. Right. I hope she doesn't do anything rash. Eh, what's there to worry about? Sure, she can be a bit impulsive, but she's pretty level-headed when she needs to be. But I am worried. We have to find her. Yes, 
And we must do so without alerting the soldiers. So do you guys think the Imperials are only here for Colossus? It isn't clear what their objective is, but I hazard a guess that Colossus isn't the sole reason for their presence. Vault boasts the finest mines in all of Fanta Grande, and is home to the Grand Arsenal, which owns Colossus. The Empire's trying to establish footholds wherever they can. They're gonna need a huge stockpile of munitions. Which makes this island the perfect target for resources. We can't let them... You okay? Sorry for running off like that. I couldn't just sit around and do nothing. It's okay. It must be hard to see this happening to your home. Wait. The Lieutenant Catalina? She has the girl! Change your plans. Surround them. Recover the girl at all costs. Yes, sir! Io, Rackham, you two watch the perimeter. I'll deal with these soldiers. Gotcha. Call me if you need any help. It seems the Empire still has its sights set on Lyria, but rest assured, I will never waver again. I am Lyria's protector, and together we will all reach the ends of the skies! You haven't lost a step, Lieutenant. And that's a wrap, folks. Looks like Catalina cleaned up pretty good. Promise me you won't run off by yourself again, Eo. Yeah, sorry. I kinda snapped back there. The Empire's already pulled some shady stuff here in the past. Try and that's done again, they're just asking for it. I guess the Empire is still trying to capture me. They won't, Lyria. I promise to let no harm come to you. Plus you got me and Graham. <laughs> of course! have the place locked down. Ugh, I knew they were gunning for Colossus. Shh, someone's coming. Any news on the Alliance's movements? The White Dragons and the Lumiel Order are giving us some trouble, but our troops managed to separate the Red-Haired Knight from the others. The Red-Haired Knight, eh? I heard he wields a flaming sword and that no one's sure where he's from. That's right. Those flames of his have fully repelled a third of our forces. Very well. We'll head out to provide support. Bring your unit round. Need to reinforce the rear guard. An alliance of knightly orders? Sounds like we have company besides the Empire. I did a little reconnaissance. That corridor there is more sparsely guarded. That was fast! You're such a pro, Catalina! Ironically, I know how to spot holes in Imperial security because it used to be my job to shore them up. All right, I'll take point. Follow me. You heard the lady! Just have to haul Heine and fight! What's going on? 
Earthquake? Oh. Hey. Hey, settle down there, Chief. Looks like the quake's already over. What are you doing out here? Who are you? <laughs> That's a fine how do you do for a concerned traveler. He's only here to soak his worries away in the hot springs. Oh. Oh! You're here for the hot springs, too? Sure am. Guess bumping into you means I'm close. Knew my instincts wouldn't leave me astray. Oh. Uh, well, you see, all the hot springs in this area are under the control of the Empire. Come again? What the hell would the Empire do with a bunch of mineral water? None of your business. Be on your way at once if you know what's good for you. Hold up now. We're nowhere near Imperial territory. And everyone has the right to a healthy soak. By denying the people access to these healing waters, you've committed a grave sin. One I won't let go unpunished. W wait! I surrender! The hot springs don't belong to the Empire! I made it all up! What? Why would you make up such a stupid story? The thing is... The spring water here is said to do wonders for the skin, so... Sometimes, uh, women will... I mean, uh, forget all that! I'm not here to peep! Oh, you're a man of discerning tastes, after all. Huh? Say no more, brother. You too were drawn here by the siren song of a manly dream, weren't you? of this steam has to be... Keep it down. There, there she is! is our bathing, bathing beauty! No! <sighs> That's about all I could take. This is getting too hot to handle. It was pretty hot when I got in, but now I feel like I'm being boiled alive. Oh, yeah. That's a shame. Well, I'm gonna pack it in. There's a lot of volcanic activity around here, so you two should probably call it a day soon, too. <sighs> and here I thought we'd found a voluptuous bathing beauty. That was a real letdown. If you get what I'm saying. <sighs> Another tremor! Hot! 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 It got in my armor! I'm gonna be boiled alive like a lobster! Whoa! Get a hold of yourself, man! Ah! 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 Imperials, then some kind of alliance. Now they're monsters all over the place. What do we do to deserve this? That crystalline monster. It looks like the one we saw when Ares went on her rampage. It almost seems like it's controlling the goblins. Empty your pockets, you filthy sky rats! Jeez, give it a rest already. Gran, you good to go? Yeah. We don't have time to mess around. Okay? Hmm. 
Where are these unfamiliar monsters coming from? They aren't the usual beasts you see the Empire command. Not to mention the armored giant. It went completely berserk. Just what is the Empire trying to achieve? And all over the island, this pervasive sense of wrongness. Words fail me. Hmm. Most puzzling of all, how has a fallen army sprung back into existence? I let Lancelot handle things here. I need to investigate these aberrations for the time being. This way, you guys. Colossus should be soared just ahead. You there. Halt! <gasps> they spotted us! It's you. You're those thieving Skyfarers. This is perfect. We'll take Vaults and the girl in one fell swoop. Well, there was no way this mission was going to end peaceably anyway. We need to get past you, whether you like it or not. Colossus, does it look different to anyone else? Yep, someone woke up on the wrong side of the forge. Use dark essence to amplify Colossus's power. Its whole body has been warped. What do those bozos think they're doing? Do they really want to make Colossus go berserk? We can't let that happen. We've got to stop them. Lyria, is there anything you can do? I'll try talking to it. I might be able to get through like I did with Ares. What's that blue light? Even with Colossus on their side, our alliance has been able to maintain a stalemate. But perhaps they're about to play their race in the hole. Hey! Something's glowing blue over there, too! That girl... Charlotta! Can you handle things here? I have to go deal with her. You can count on me! Colossus, please! Well, are you getting through? It's no good. The dark essence is getting in the way. Maybe if I could get a little closer... Freeze! All of you! What? That girl is the Empire's top secret research project, isn't she? I've heard she has the power to control primal beasts. Now I see what the Empire wants with Colossus. Using the girl's powers, you plan to weaponize this primal. Well, I won't stand back and let that happen. Wait, you're mistaken. We do not serve the Empire. Catalina, wait. There's something off about him. Look, behind him! If you won't stand down, then there's only one way to settle this. I guess we don't have a choice. I am Lancelot, Captain of the Order of the White Dragons. On guard!
Imperials will find no quarter here. You won't reach Colossus on my watch. Leave this to me. Be careful, okay? Do such a thing. I can't believe I would take arms against your crew. Especially you, Lyria. Don't be too hard on yourself. The same thing happened to me. Something is rotten in Fanta Grande. People's memories have been altered. Primal beasts are rampaging. And a fallen empire has risen once more. This is all a bit hard to believe. How could this happen? We don't know. But it seems like someone is causing all this confusion on purpose. Speaking of purpose, what brought you here anyway? My order learned that the Empire was up to its old tricks, amassing troops and using Dark Essence to manipulate primal beasts. Their resurgence was and still is a mystery, but it was too great a threat to ignore. I suppose they have been rapidly seizing territory with extreme tactics. But if the kingdom is far from the conflict as Feyendrock felt threatened, the situation may be worse than I feared. Yes. Things were looking grim. Vaults had already fallen to the Empire. I reached out to the Lumio Order to form an alliance, and we came here hoping to lend the Duchy our aid. So then, is Master Zaka all right? I assume so. They blockaded the capital in order to seize Colossus, but I don't think they've done any actual damage to the city itself. Cool. That's a relief. But that still leaves Colossus. Dark Essence has twisted Colossus's form. Augmenting its power. We should. Hmm? Sky rats! Mess them up! We'll continue this later. Carolina, what do you make of the Imperial soldiers we just fought? Well, their discipline is certainly lacking. It's like their chain of command is non-existent. It would be disastrous if we allowed people like that to get their hands on Colossus. We can't let that happen. This may sound like an odd question coming from me, but do you believe the Imperial Army is truly behind all this? I can't say for sure. Fiendrock went on high alert after spotting a scouting party near the Kingdom. And now Vaults is in disarray. That all took place within the span of a few days. Their forces are considerable. Someone must be issuing orders from somewhere. So to combat their numbers, it's not just your order of the White Dragons who are riding into battle. Correct. An alliance was formed with the Lumio Order of Holy Knights. Compared to the Imperials, our knights are better trained and better led. Yet here we are being pushed back. It's almost as if they have nothing to lose. They remind me of bandits, given their numbers. I understand the uphill battle you're facing. Nevertheless, retreat is not an option. I'm grateful to have you and your allies on our side. Yeah! And as a bonus, we get to duke it out with goblins and monsters. <laughs> it's really starting to get fun. I'll finish them off quickly. You two rally with Gran. Roger that. Counting on you, Lancelot. My resolve has been sharpened, and I have my allies to thank for that. I will stop Colossus and the Empire, all costs! 
All right. Most of them are down for the count. Is everyone okay? Yep, just Dandy. All that's left is to do something about Colossus. Right. Its warped power has been amplified by Dark Essence, triggering its true form. This is a dangerous situation. That's the Empire's forte. Which is why it's imperative that we stop Colossus here and now. Victory will be ours if we work together with Gran and Lyria. Can I count on your assistance, Lancelot? You shall have it. My blades are yours to command. May we emerge victorious! you guys. Doesn't it seem like even the monsters and goblins come gunning for us too? You're right. They're also openly hostile toward us. You'd think they were in league with one another. They're working together? This way! I found the girl! Her powers will give us better control over Colossus. Don't let her get away! We have to get to Colossus, even if that means cutting our way through. Reinforcements. Secure the girl at all costs. Jeez, when are they gonna give up? We have to push our way through. We're nearly there. You sit tight, Colossus. Halt! Charlotta, of course. You must be here as Lumiel's representative in the Alliance. The haired girl is the one with the power to manipulate primal beasts, isn't she? the Empire's ace in the hole. Look, wait a minute! Charlotta, wait! They aren't our enemies! What? Don't tell me Fiendrock has been plotting with the Empire against Lumiel from the beginning. No. Fiendrock is no friend to the Empire. Please, let me explain. is inevitable. I'll try to avoid your fight. Lyria? Uh, 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 what's going on? Oh, she's come to her senses. It seems someone manipulated both Charlotta's memories and mine. Someone? You mean the Empire isn't behind this? I'm not sure, but we know one thing for certain. The Empire is trying to use Colossus to menace the Skydom. That's why we formed our alliance. Larry, are we close enough now? Can you try again? Okay. I'm nearly there, but it's still no good. There's dark essence scrambling everything. Fine then. We'll just have to slap some sense into that big tin can. Are we hauling out the big guns already? I mean, we gotta do what we gotta do. But... Don't worry. We've beaten Colossus before, when Master was controlling it. So you plan to wear it down until you can find an opening? Let us help you. Now that those Imperial soldiers have been taken care of, this is our chance! Yeah! Time to show them what we're made of! Right!
one down. Quest clear. Well done, Dad. better hurry. Agree. I am truly grateful that you agreed to this alliance. A single ally like you is worth an entire battalion. It's an honor to fight alongside the famed White Dragons. Gathering under the banner of justice to shield civilians from the Empire. This is the whole reason knightly orders exist. The Holy Knight's motto is forever pure, forever righteous. And joining forces was clearly the righteous in this situation. Thank you, Charlotta. It is you who honor me with your camaraderie. Besides, we had already begun preparing for battle when we heard the first report of the Vault's invasion. Hmm. So word of the Erste Empire's aggressions had already reached your kingdom before we contacted you. Something about that bothers me. Why is that? The Erste Empire was dissolved after its Prime Minister's destructive ambitions got out of control. As a political entity, it no longer exists. A sudden resurgence makes no sense, especially considering the numbers and resources it takes to conquer not only vaults, but multiple territories throughout the Skydom. So just where did all those soldiers come from? disaster we would have faced had you all not come. Kindness incurred by the sword shall be repaid by the sword. I, Charlotta Fenia, am at your service. Always glad to have another ally in the fight. Is your alliance gonna be alright without you guys, though? My vice captain will handle the operations going forward. I've transferred command of the Holy Knights to Vautorda. They'll be safe in his hands. Oh yeah, both of those guys are pretty awesome. But then again, so are their captains. My main concern right now is the danger posed by the existence of those black crystals. Lancelot and I shamefully fail to realize the deception. We must flush out the true enemy and eliminate them. Yes. I'm also worried about the apparent resurgence of the fallen Earth Day Empire. Same here. Why did they suddenly attack Vault? And why go after Colossus? Well, well. Speak of the devil found him. Don't even try to escape. The Empire will never stop pursuing you. Not when we have the chance to decapitate your Alliance's chain of command. They were waiting to ambush us? Ugh! Those dumb bozos never change! I can handle them on my own. Lancelot, escort the others to safety! If that's the way the winds are blowing, then we ought to haul butt back to the Grand Cipher. Understood, Charlotta. May you find glory in serving as our rear guard. Come, everyone! <laughs> Just another day in the line of duty. But there are 
also times when I feel like taking the spotlight. Now then, I'll prove that my position as captain of the Lumiel Order of Holy Knights isn't just for show. For I am Charlotta Fenia! Prepare yourselves! The, the champion of Lumiel. We stood no chance. That takes care of the Imperials here. I must quickly rendezvous with the others. Charlotta, it's a relief to see you returned unharmed. You took less time than I expected. That was like a whole army of Imperials. You seriously beat all of them? Such a trifling scuffle was of no concern. All that matters is the safety of each and every one of you. The dock is just up ahead. Ran and the others are waiting by the Grand Cipher. Oh. Something wrong? Did you get hurt? No. I'm just not sure how I feel about taking to the skies with you guys after what I did. It doesn't matter that I was being manipulated. That doesn't excuse the fact that I raised my sword against you. No one's giving it a second thought, you know. That's why we're friends. What in the world is happening to these guys? Whatever happens, I will never allow myself to threaten my friends again! On my honor as a knight! to make a more careful check of the rest of the city. Leave that to us. The Alliance will ensure the residents are safe and take care of any damage caused by the invasion. Lumiel will provide as much support as Vault's needs. That's a relief. It sounds like Vault is in safe hands then. Might be a good time to see how some other islands are doing. Can't just stand by if they're in the same situation. You're absolutely right. The Empire is clearly after Lyria again as I experienced firsthand. And it ain't just Imperials that want a piece of us. What's up with that? Which covers most of the stuff on the list, right? It's pretty boss we scored truffles in Port Breezy. What doesn't this place have? Word. I can already picture a fancy spread for tonight's dinner. Gotta grill me up some truffle skewers. Cap and the others are gonna be smiling for weeks. Let's head back to the G site. Ouch! What was that? A cricket? You need glasses, man. How do you mix up a dragonfly with a cricket? Uh. Can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not, but that's clearly a longhorn beetle. Whoa, for reals? Never seen one before. Scramble, go. That chick just shot down the bug! Supple chestnut hair. Silver armor with the blue cape. That can only be one person. Cass! Heck? Gone forever. Bros, there's no olive branch for this travesty. We got some revenge to do! Hold up. This is no Catalina. I don't remember her being made of metal.
I don't get it. What is it then? Whoa! Where'd this thing come from? Huh. Up close, it really looks nothing like a person. Uh, I don't know about you, but those vibes ain't friendly, fam. Say what? The Brodals. They're in peril. Time to show her what old-fashioned blood and guts can do. Oh yeah! Did we pwn him? I think that was the last one. Hmm. It didn't feel like monsters. Think someone's got it out for us? I mean, that just comes with the territory of being us. Yo! Totally pissed about something. Damn, we're in a tight spot. Let's go before we're done, though. Hey, it's been a while. Sounds like you had a pretty rough time of it. Glad to see you're doing well. Rough doesn't begin to cover what we've been through. Yeah, it was crazy watching Catalina and Gran fight over Lyria. I still find it hard to believe. Thankfully, Gran was able to restore me to my senses. Crazy things are happening all over the Sky Dome. We stopped at a couple islands on our way to Auguste, and the Empire was up to no good there, too. Well, Auguste has been invaded by the Empire before. Me and some of the old veterans have been keeping a weather eye out. We haven't seen anything yet. The Isle seems safe for the moment. Probably don't have to worry. But Sierra said there had been unrest here. Really? Sounds like there was a bit of a dust-up with some tourists. But that's par for the course. 
Huh. Well, good. In that case, can we take a break? I'm beat. We have been through a lot. We should rest up while we can. Well, I'm staying here too. So, give me a holler if you need anything. Thank you, Eugen. I feel better knowing you're close by. Ugh, at least we can take it easy for today before getting back to the craziness. Good night then, everyone. Good morning, Gran. Morning, Lyria. Sleep well? Yes. The sound of the waves was so relaxing. Hmm? Do you hear something outside? Huh? What is that? Beep, beep, boop, beep. Destroy, destroy. Is that Catalina? Like, I hyper beg you to stop. Mega pray you stop. Like, I hyper beg you to stop. Mega pray you'll stop. Yo, Luane, I'm telling you, bro. We gotta take that thing down by force. It's three on one. We can do this. What's up with you, dude? Getting spiritual at that killing machine ain't gonna do nothing. Well, Lady Caterpillar's our brainchild, and she's trying to turn Fusta into a sea of flames. If we stop her, that's like accepting Lia's responsibility, dude. We'll be on the hook for a holy crap load of damages! Oh, snap. Praying's starting to look pretty good. The power of stop compels you! Okay, but for real, though? How'd she roll out of our daydreams and into this nightmare? Uh, oh, no! At this rate, the whole resort will be ruined! Is this what Sierra was warning us about? Either way, we need to stop that tread-mounted cattle look-alike. What was that just now? I thought I saw something wearing armor like mine. I'm not sure. But whatever it is, it has friends. And they're causing mayhem all over the beach. There's some of them left over there. And it looks like the ruckus is attracting monsters. Grant, you think you can take care of it? I'm on it. Goodness sake, can't a girl enjoy a vacation once in a while without all heck breaking loose? Who would have the terrible manners to spoil a vacation paradise like this? Sounds like someone could use an etiquette lesson. Let's see here. Where is our little troublemaker? Destroy! Destroy! Hey, stop that! Catalina, do something about these contraptions! What am I supposed to do? What do these things want? And why do they look so much like Catalina? They look nothing like me. Hmm. Looks like that knight is using her mechanical henchwomen to terrorize the resort. It's time she learned to play nice. Catalina, are you all right? Uh, there's too many. 
this rate, they're gonna set the whole place on fire. Destroy, destroy, cease, frivolity, at one. Ah! Huh? You're the culprits, aren't you? You can't go spoiling everyone's vacations like this. But Diva? How do you know my name? Oh, are you a regular at the casino liner? Even so, I can't turn a blind eye to your behavior. We may not be standing in the ring, but I'll give you an extra helping of tough love. Uh, well, I don't think she remembers us. That didn't sound too friendly. I don't think she's in her right mind. Have her memories been affected the same way mine were? If so, that dark crystal creature could be close by. Time for sun, sand, and smackdowns. Ready? Fight! I hope you realize what you've done to everyone's vacations. I don't want to do this, but you've left me with no choice. Prepare yourself! I'd rather not fight if you force my hand. No! I felt that one. You're no slouch, Captain. Wait, what? Why was I trying to punish all of you? Ladiva? It's me, Gran. Hmm. Her memories were restored after fighting with Gran just as mine were. This can't be a coincidence. Incoming! More of those cataclunkers heading this way! Will you please leave my name out of this? Come on, people. Bullets now. Talk later. Don't run me over! Are you okay? Did she hurt you? Another one's coming! Why is this happening to us? A goose day is finished! Everyone's in a state of panic. Well, can't say I blame them. It's you! You saved my hide again. But how are you not shivering in your boots? Darling, you shouldn't worry about little old me. I didn't sculpt this body just to hit the beach. Besides, I'm used to messy tussles. Though I have to admit, this time it's a bit more chaotic than usual. Hold on. I've seen that get up before. And that mask. Are you the troll resort? Save the chit-chat, sweetie. These robots are asking for it. And you don't want to get caught in the danger zone when I take them there. Right. Good luck. Love. What is love? You're in luck. You've found yourself a love guru, and I'm handing out free lessons today. Whoa, I knew it was her. It really is Ladiva. Give him hell, Ladiva. Turn that clanker into scrap metal. Go, Ladiva! Ooh, love that passion. Thanks, everyone! You better believe my burning love's gonna keep this beach pure and pristine! <laughs> A new challenger, eh? Well, I don't mind interference from ring crashers. You'll feel the heat of my sun-kissed fists! And my name isn't La Diva! And that's the power of love. Maybe it's hard for you to understand now, but keep working on it, and you'll get it someday. This is love. You rock, Ladiva! Those were some slick moves, and it wasn't even a sanctioned match. Oh, <laughs> I had help from my adoring fans. Thanks for being who you are. I feel so uplifted by the example you set. That really warms my heart. If you ever find yourself in a jam, you know who to call. Yeah. Thanks, Ladiva. Unfortunately, no one will truly be safe until I figure out what's going on around here. I better meet up with the captain and tag in. We'll work together to save this summer vacation. 
Well, Ladiva, you know what to do. Frowny faces don't belong on sunny shores. So pull up your championship belt and get a move on. land well 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 not a hot spring but not bad either not bad at all a man could dream a dream or two about this vista huh hold on what do you got there binoculars of course how else can i worship every last detail of these goddesses at play blasphemy natural beauty is meant to be viewed with the naked eye Shh, keep it down Ned over there who looks like Lieutenant Catalina. Ah, uh, love, fashion, when will it be my turn? Catalina? I mean, there is a certain resemblance, I guess. I'm a huge fan of the lieutenants. When I close my eyes, I can see her radiant smile as if she was standing before me. Gah! Oh, my, who is there? What did you do, you dolt? You pigs, peeping toms. No, no, listen, we can explain that. You see, a, a man's fancies are, well, there comes a time in every man's life when... Well, what, when you have to pursue your dreams of, um, adventure. It's... And anyway, why would we peep on you? You're a machine! Wow! Right. I am so sorry I ran into you. Are you hurt? Oh, I... I... Oh, I see. This is a matter of the heart, isn't it? If you need to get something off your chest, I'd be happy to listen. Bottling those feelings up is no good for you, you know. Good. The truth is... Now look what you did. You made her cry. Oh, it just... It just slipped out. There you are. You're the ones who were insulting that sweet young lady, aren't you? The diva. You here on vacation too? Hmm? Answer my question, if you please. Are you talking about that brunette robot? I mean, yes, I spoke without thinking, but I feel like she overreacted. What did you say? You don't get to decide how she feels. But, but she's a machine, right, Soros? I mean, yeah, but, but, but don't drag me into this. Are you saying a robot can't have feelings? I assure you, her pain is very real. Oh, I didn't mean to. I can see the two of you are going to need some sensitivity training. Oh, wait, wait a minute. This idiot let his tongue get away from him, sure. But the Ladiva I know and love, she wouldn't resort to violence so suddenly. What's gotten into you? That's enough out of you, mister. You're about to learn your lesson the hard way. Now 
I hope you realize what you've done to everyone's vacations. I don't want to do this, but you've left me with no choice. Prepare yourself! Hmm. Don't have a damn clue what's going on. But you best clench your teeth. Cause I'm about to knock some sense back into you. I just doing? Why would I resort to violence like that out of the blue? Oh my goodness, Soros, are you alright? Hey, you're sounding like your old self again. Don't worry your pretty little head over a few punches. <laughs> it was my fault anyway. What you said before about robots having hearts, that really hit home. And that young lady's pain is real. Whether her heart beats in a chest of flesh or metal, it makes no difference. A man who can't see that is no man at all. Right, brother? Our feelings. You're right! Of course! How could I be so heartless? Oh. Oh. Excuse me. I want to apologize for what I said to you earlier. I'm truly ashamed. No, you were right. I am a machine. I am not beautiful. That's not true. You're very cute and charming. You are beautiful. I am? Your innocence, your sweetness, they speak right to my heart. Metal or flesh, it makes no difference to me. So I have to ask you, will you... Will you... do me the honor... Oh... of going out with me? Why, of course I will. Uh, gotta admit, didn't see that coming. Oh, it's love! I think they'll make an adorable couple. Damn right. And if they're happy, that's all that matters. Now I think it's about time we let these young lovebirds be alone. Shall we, milady? The pursuit of beauty leads men to follow their hearts, sometimes to destinations wild and unknown. Having found himself in such a place, the noble Soros gazes up into the sky with one burning question left unanswered. Does a man define his spirit, or does the spirit define the man? Until the day he solves this riddle, his quest continues on. But I had better not catch you peeping again, Soros. Of course! Cross my heart! Where are they all coming from? I don't know. They look so much like Catalina, I can't help feeling sorry for them. It's not you too, Lyria. We need to pin down the source somehow. Yeah, all this commotion's attracting monsters. We have to do something about them before they make an even bigger mess. I couldn't agree more. Catalina Prime, lovely to see you. Oh, shut your metal mouth and get away from me! Huh? At night, she's the most important. Wait, who is she again? Crazy tank is making me crank out more lady tanks. Then how about you X day with the ranking K, bro? Dude, they just managed to damp down the fire, and now you're relighting it. Put the matches down, bro.
The mini lemurs are coming from around those three dunes. That's Moain. How is he making all these knockoff Catalinas? Ugh. I can't remember. We have to stop him from producing any more of those things. I have no idea what's going on here. Let's just put a stop to it. Hey there. <laughs> Yo, someone has the nerve to mess with the best? Whatevs, let's just kick butt and take names. Are you responsible for these abominations? HPA activated! I have the duty to never waver! Embrace the cold, blaze the sun! Finish! Maybe. It's better this way. Quest clear. Ready for another bad. round? Is it over now? Looks like it. I could have a regular old vacation. And instead, I get this. What's with all this racket? Hey, you. Is there a festival or something going on? N no. These weird machines have been tearing up the place all morning. Almost all the tourists have cleared out. I have no idea what's going on. I figured it was something along those lines. Ugh, <sighs> timing. Things settled down once those folks over there stepped in, though. Or maybe they were the ones who caused the trouble in the first place. I'm not sure. These events have to be connected. There's no way it could all be a coincidence. Lowane and his friends didn't seem like themselves either. This is what you were talking about yesterday, Gran? About something weird kicking off. Definitely something sketchy going on. Forget about that. Why don't you and I step out for a drink somewhere? It must be fate that brought us together like this. Hmm. I'll pass. Thanks for the info, though. Aw, oh, come on. What else are you gonna do? I'm sure we can find somewhere nice and cozy to... Are you deaf or something? I'm in no mood for your crap right now, so beat it before I remodel your face. <gasps> Hey there! <laughs> if it isn't Miss Shameless, fancy meeting you here. You'll never believe this. Excuse me? Where do you get off calling a complete stranger shameless, you off-brand lizard? <laughs> that tears it. I need some target practice. And guess what? You get to help. Let's start with getting you clowns locked away and banned from this island. Looks like Matera's been affected too. No doubt about it. What a mess. All right, you resort wreckers. Let's see you dodge this. Ugh. I'm really friggin' pissed right now. You look like some stress relief. <laughs> Leave this to me. Be careful, okay? Grand. Let's go! Please, Please save us from a, from a summer, summer of, of suck! suck. 
bring the pain on those dudes wrecking our beautiful vacay! Help us, Shiba! Help us, Bahamut! Help us, Iggy! Whoa, my eyes! Duh! Iggy heard our prayers! Hold the applause, bro. Something ain't right. Yeah, she mad. No doubt about it. Jeez, that stings. What the heck is going on? Ugh, and what are you all doing here? Ha! <laughs> Sounds like Miss Shameless is back to her old self. Say what now? It seems the two of us, and everyone else in Aguste, have been acting a little strange. Like losing very specific memories, or having them twisted into something else entirely. Some kind of mass hallucination? Well, Aguste isn't the only place that's been affected. Similar phenomena have been reported on other islands. My memories were altered too. I went as far as using Empire soldiers in an attempt to kidnap Lyria. You're kidding! There's no doubt about it, then. Something is totally messing with the skies right now. Lyria Graham and I still have all our marbles. At least so far. What's weird is that meeting up with Gran seems to have cured everybody. Speaking of, you seem lucid, Eugen. There must be some kind of logic to who's been affected, but damned if I can figure it out. Hmm, quite the conundrum, isn't it? If Ares was right, and someone's causing this deliberately. What could they be after? <sighs> oh. Jeez, I'm beat. I don't know if it's because of getting my memories wiped or what, but I've got a pounding headache and I could use a. What's going on? It's Idrisil! And she seems furious! How did she get here? I didn't summon her! Idrisil, too. I tried to speak to her, but she can't hear me. Yeesh. Just one problem after the next. I can't take a nap with this going on. Even still, we're with you, Captain. We need to do some damage control. Thanks, everyone. Let's do this. Just as we suspected. Those crystalline monsters do seem to be causing this. So they were the ones who affected us as well. Yggdrasil seems awfully tired out. It's all right. You can rest now. I'm so sorry, Iggy. Wait. You know something about all this? It's like... All our fantasies have been coming alive on their own. Like some kind of dream. Or a miracle? It's some kind of dreamy miracle. So you three dips caused all this? Just what 
the hell were you doing? Ouch! Wait, I remember, I remember! My best girl's name, it's Catalina! She's my one and only! Memories like that don't just fade, man! How could I ever forget? So you're the one responsible for those mechanical imposters? The Wayne? Time to fall on your sword, bro! I'll join you. Nothing else will make up for putting Iggy through hell! <sighs> Put a sock in it. Well, I'm glad everyone's back to normal. Yes. But now we've moved on from memory alteration to fantasies taking physical form. It's like someone's rewriting the rules of the universe! That's kind of scary. Yeah, we can't take this lightly. I think you'd better check out some other islands. I'll stay here in a goose day. No telling what might happen, so I don't feel good leaving. All right. Everyone else, hop aboard the Grand Cipher. We need to see how the other islands are doing. The rules of the universe are being rewritten, eh? <laughs> I like the sound of that. There's all sorts of fun stuff going on out here, bubs. I can't wait for you to come join in. Oh, come on. Show me a smile. Thanks to you, my dream may just come true. I know we've had our differences, but I'd say working together was in your best interest. It isn't your dream, though, is it? I'm tired of your buffoonery, clown. Easy, big guy. I'm not trying to rush you into anything. Just be patient a little longer. I'm sure I can make it worth your while. Ugh, I can't believe this. Hmm? What's the matter? You aren't your usual perky self. Oh, please. You know what I'm talking about. It was only a quickie, but a complete stranger messed around with my memories. Can you imagine a genius like me being careless enough to fall for that garbage? This isn't the vacay I wanted. Don't be too hard on yourself. Something fishy's happening across the entire Sky Dome. There wasn't anything you could have done, honey. But now that we've overcome that dreadful experience, our focus should be on stopping it from spreading any farther. What do you say? Save me! <sighs> La Diva, girl. I'm actually a little jealous of how quick you can bounce back after something like that. But you have a point. <sighs> sure, I'm in. Let's do what we can for now. The beach is no place for monsters to stir up trouble. I'm ready whenever you are. All right. I could use a distraction. Nothing like a little beach cleanup to clear my head. I'll go rescue that poor man first. Can you take care of things here? Who's <laughs> if you need to ask? My bow won't even be warmed up when I finish them all. Get ready, you moldy wet blanket! I'm going to turn you into pin cushion. Well done. I admit, that did feel pretty good. Huh? That scary chick from before? <laughs> oh, come on. It isn't every day that a total hottie saves your skin. I mean, is that really all you have to say now? Oh, sorry. Thanks for saving my bacon. Whatever. Lucky for you. You've caught me in a good mood. Just now. You like flying? Like an angel? And all those flashy arrows. That was magic, right? I love a gal with talent. <sighs> How lame can you get with lines like that? You can go now. Ah, sorry. Misread the signals. Thanks again. I hope to see you around. Oh, 
the poor thing. Anyway, your flight magic and arcane bow skills are simply stunning. Especially to anyone seeing them for the first time. <laughs> what can I say? I guess my standards are just too high. Now, now. No harm in playing nice with others. Thanks to you, the beach is free of monsters. Why not relax a little? <sighs> well, my angry face is still cute though, right? The cutest. So, how about it? Thanks. Actually, what do you say we meet up with Gran and the others? You did say the whole Skydom was in danger, right? It's probably better we take this on with everyone else. Good idea. I believe some of the others went through the same ordeal you and I did. But if we all work together, I know there's nothing we can't overcome. Mm, sounds like a plan. Pure chaos is currently trying to envelop the skies. It certainly seems that way. I had a feeling it wasn't limited to this island. Though I have managed to defend Lumassier up till now, I'm not sure how much longer I can hold on. This problem is greater than our combined power. Do you know what's causing this chaos? Pandemonium. Corruption is spilling from its maw and bending reality. Pandemonium? That primal beast made to cage its own kind? That's where Beelzebub was imprisoned. Indeed, but the seal containing him seems to have weakened. Of all the frightening possibilities, imagine that man returning to the skies. It is not certain. However, I sense his aura gradually growing stronger. We must move quickly. <laughs> oh dear. It seems we have some uninvited guests. Stay here and continue holding back the chaos. I shall go and take stock of the situation. Be careful, dear. I have a bad feeling about this. You were not born of these skies. You are mere victims in this conflict, distorted by powers beyond your control. I do not want to harm you, but I must preserve the balance in this realm. Return to dust. The corruption is spreading faster than I anticipated even bearing cores from the chaos. But they didn't seem to have any will of their own. Were they some sort of puppet entities? <laughs> They're heading toward her. Why you came to us for help. They said there are distortions spreading through the skies, 
causing all this chaos. So it's all related. There's a line between the distorted and unaffected parts of the sky. They called it a boundary. Primal beasts inside the distorted part are being rewritten from the inside out. But I can reverse the process by absorbing their power. Then they can still move around safely inside the boundary without losing control. Rewritten, huh? Sounds like the same thing that's been playing with people's memories. That's crazy! And it's not any kind of astral power doing it, right? A power that can alter not only the Sky Realm, but primal beasts as well. It's as if a god is toying with reality, like a child playing in a sandbox. A boundary... and a godlike power. a rumor, but it sounds like there's been unusual activity in the Didroid Belt in North Bass, too. That's all the way out on the edges of Fantagrande. Does that mean the entire Skydom has already been affected? Actually, I think we can say the changes have begun to spread across the Grim Basin. Across the Grim Basin? Then this won't stop with Fantagrande. At this rate, it'll swallow up the entire Sky Realm. <sighs> We still don't know who's behind these distortions. But the whole world is under threat. We have to put a stop to this ourselves. And we will! With all this going on, I wonder how Rosetta is faring. Aw, oh, jeez. She couldn't have picked a worse time to go back to Lamassier. You don't have to worry about Rosetta. I'm sure... I'm sure she's fine. Yo. Blue, red, dragon. Where did they come from? And what's wrong with them? Be careful, everyone. Anything that gets in our way right now is dust. through the forest of Lumassier. I can't quite put it into words, but the forest seems off, even to me. It never gave me that feeling before. So the boundary is creeping through Lumassier now. You think that means Rosetta's in the same shape as the other- Ow! Shut up, Scales for Brains! Don't even say stuff like that! Eo, Vern, calm down! Rosetta draws power from the forest of Lumassier. I'm sure that will protect her. Let's just hurry up and find her! denser here compared to the other islands. There must be something nearby damming the flow. This strange force gradually swallowing up Fantagrande, distorting the world as it goes. I'm certain it's related to the other world. I suppose it's because I'm a ghost that I can perceive it. The dead are closer to the other world than the living after all. Lumassier is nearly saturated with all the power pulling here. There's not much time. I have to let everyone know. Where are you hopping off to, little bunny? Who are you? Uh, 
You're the one behind this. I'm a step closer to the other world than most. You can't fool me. <laughs> oh, you're lovely. Pure and innocent, but sharp as a knife. Or maybe it's your purity which honed that razor's edge. As much as I'd love to welcome an ingenue into the world of sensual delights, you'll have to wait your turn. A lot of people have come calling today. Huh? What are those things? Sorry to disappoint you, but you're not here to play detective. I just need another piece on the board. Idrazil? Is something wrong? What? A powerful force? Uh, do you think it's Rosetta fighting someone? No, it's not Rosetta. Yggdrasil said the power that's spreading through the sky spiked just now. Here in the forest, only for a second. And there's something in this forest with us? I'm not sure. She said she only sensed it for a moment. Better look sharp then. No telling what might happen. Everybody stay close to me. Let's keep a tight formation. Hey, do you see someone over there? Is that... <laughs> Fairy? What are you doing in Lumassier? Singularity. Your existence is distorting the world. Uh... It's time I brought you to heal. You need to learn the difference between right and wrong. Fairy, what's wrong with you? I don't... Back off, girl in blue. No one said you can move. Fairy... Lyria, get behind me. Those monsters again. They must have affected Fairy's memories too. Yeah, but she seems a lot more aggressive than the others were. What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I guess it's my move, Singularity. Looks like we have to fight. If we're gonna get her back to normal. Let's go, guys. We won't let the singularity go freely. Read this to me. Be careful, okay? You got this, Gran. You've all noticed the strange power at work, too. A man acting suspicious? You met him here, in the forest? That's right. And he had these crystalline monsters with him that gave off a strange energy. They must be the same monsters you encountered. Then that's our guy! I think so, too. I'm not sure how to put it, but I could tell from his aura that he was no ordinary person. Fairy, could you take us to the place where you met him? I'm worried about Rosetta. But this might be the clue we need to unravel the whole mystery.
All right, I'm counting on you guys. See if you can dig up any clues in the forest about that shady man. <laughs> you sure are close with your pets, Perry. I would hope so, considering how long we've been together. Especially Beppo here. Beppo never left my side the entire time we were on that misty little island. Oh yeah, you were on that island for decades, weren't you? After you became a ghost, I mean. Mm-hmm. And we've been together ever since. Perhaps it's because we're ghosts that we're so close. We can understand each other just fine without saying a word. I think that's really special, Fairy. <laughs> Hearing you say it like that, I guess being a ghost has its upsides too. Sharp, everyone. There's something off about them. They're cloaked in the same power as that man. We can't let them get away. Nice. Now that those monsters are taken care of, let's get a move on. Right. That man mustn't be allowed. <gasps> uh, are you okay, Fairy? Maybe you should rest for a little bit. Thank you, but don't worry about me. I just felt lightheaded for a second. Rest can wait. That man must be stopped as soon as possible. Can't argue with you there. Any guy connected to those black crystals is big trouble. It's not just the Exia around him. I know firsthand how poisonous he is. He won't hesitate to use people to accomplish his objectives. In fact, he appears to take pleasure in the suffering of those he comes in contact with. I don't know what his intentions are. But whatever he's up to, it can't be good. Yes, this awful fighting has to end. Let's go. I fear the incoming storm is one our sky has never seen before. One of those dark crystal creatures has appeared every time there was an incident. Are they causing these events somehow? Those black crystals appear within the border. They provoke monsters into aggression. And many witnesses have suffered sudden health crises. Judging from the rumors I've heard, the crystal monster's fear of influence is growing daily. If my theory is correct and the boundary of the affected area is advancing, the majority of the Skyda may have already been consumed. Not bad. You figured out quite a lot about Exia already. Gathering eyewitness accounts. Having the detachment to envision the bigger picture. You'd make a good king. Who are you? Just an itinerant archaeologist. Wherever mystery lurks, there I am, elbow deep. Archaeologist, don't insult my intelligence. And what do you mean by Exia? Those black crystals? Oh, gold star. And you're right. I'm no archaeologist. You're the one behind this. Grappling with former allies to the twisted strains of corrupted causality. Doesn't the devastation call out to you? Corrupted causality? Are you using Exia to distort reality? It's complicated. I know how it looks, but these things don't belong to me. And Exia isn't directly responsible for the corruption. These crystals are just... 
toys. They help me bring things to a head, <laughs> but not much more. Speak plainly. Is there someone else behind all this? That's right. The real brains of the operation. He's been sealed away in pandemonium. He's one of the few friends I have left. So being the sentimental soul that I am, I had to mount a rescue attempt. But once I woke him up, he started trying to get out on his own, and he's been a little too gung-ho about it. He's throwing so much power against the seal that it's spilling out into the skies and causing all this distortion. You've got to laugh. Poor little guy's trying so hard. Oh, and that empire? What was it, Earth Day? It never really had a resurgence. Those troops are just a mob of former soldiers. They're not getting orders from anywhere, just chasing the shadows of commanders long gone, running around conquering territory for no one at all. Causality and memory tampering notwithstanding, mob psychology is frightening, isn't it? It's amazing how far people will go just on the assumption that others agree with them. Talkative, aren't you? But that means pandemonium is the locus of these phenomena. Right again. <laughs> uh, I really shouldn't talk so much. I appreciate the intel. Now move! Pandemonium awaits! Poor little mortal. Don't you know you're all bound up in causality's chains? <sighs> Dance for me. Ugh! There's no end to these jokers! I'll finish this! Smell that man on him, too. So Sir Burns a lot? You don't think... Girl in blue. Red dragon. Singularity. Any who dare to obstruct my path to kingship, or threaten the security of the skies, will be purged by flames. Any last words? Speak them now. You will be devoured by my flames. Leave this to me. Be careful, okay? You got this, Gran. Let's go! Oh, that was a splendid fight, Gran. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Sir Berg's a lot. Did you meet that suspicious dude, too? Who? Oh, him. That wretch. I fell into his trap as well. There's no doubt in my mind. He's the one responsible for the chaos threatening the Sky Realm. No. It appears not. Although he's certainly involved. You all saw them too, didn't you? Exia, those black crystalline creatures floating in the air. I've been collecting eyewitness reports to determine their point of origin. Percival, sir, I've gathered the flight logs. These airships here claim to have seen those very same monsters. Good work. Sierra Carte, the sky map. Yes, sir. -y. Let's get those sightings marked down pronto. I see. This distortion in the sky is expanding over time like a ripple in water. 
one would assume the source to be at the center, but the dates on the flight logs aren't very helpful in that regard. The number of sightings near the Lumassier archipelago is relatively few considering the amount of traffic there. There's something about that group of islands. Perhaps that's where the next clue lies. An astute observation. You are as wise as you are handsome, Percival. Is that your next destination? Naturally. Which brings me to my next concern. In order to further my own investigation, I require a ship. The distortion stuff's already spread so far. We ain't got no time to lose. <laughs> I'm just glad Percival's here to help us out. My flames burn fervently for my allies. And above all, for the sake of the skies. So that man was Belial, huh? Evil embraces him. And the one in the shadows. They must not be allowed to have their way. This unprecedented menace must be crushed. Get this straight. The Exia are what's making all that distortion in the sky, right? If what Belial said can be trusted, then yes. But we're up against a serious threat. These creatures are capable of rewriting our very own memories. Even Catalina forgot who Gran was. I too had my memories rewritten once before. But I won't let it happen again. I vow to burn this oppressive evil to ashes. Imagine, if we extrapolate from the events so far, his power threatens to rewrite reality as we know it, to bring about the end of the world. We ain't gonna let that happen. What's it gonna be, Gran? Do we go after that shady dude or head straight to Pandemonium? First, we need to do what we came here to do and make sure Rosetta's all right. Belial, he got away. Hmm, so... He's not reckless enough to challenge us both at once. I'm lucky you were here then, Zoe. around the Masier, but the rest of the Skydom is being swallowed up as we speak. The problem needs to be addressed at the source. Is restoring that seal really our only option? Once the seal has been broken, it is not easy to reverse its effects. There are other ways, but each carries its own risks. Then you're going to stand by and let the skies drown? I couldn't do that. But you and I won't get anywhere without help. Hmm. So yet again, those children hold the key. Rosebeam, please send them in the right direction. I must prepare for the next phase. I hate to send them off without me, but I suppose I have to let them fly on their own sometimes. Rosetta! We finally found you! Eo, the whole crew's here too. Rosetta, you wouldn't believe what's been going on. Surely you've had quite the time of it. I'm just glad to see you all safe. <laughs> That's our Rosetta. You were already taking steps to fight back before we even figured out what was happening. Yes, so much for my vacation. 
And despite all that I've done, that power has already swallowed up most of Fandegrande. That man I met. Have you seen him? Or sensed him? He was releasing those Exia creatures throughout the forest. If he's still here, we have to put a stop to it. That man, Belial, is no longer on this island. Gran, you and the others must go to Pandemonium. I know. But we'll get through it, now that you're back with us. I'm sorry. I can't go with you. But why, Rosetta? If I were to leave my post, the chaos you've been seeing will only spread faster. So, it's up to all of you. Reassure me, Gran. As the Singularity, are you prepared to be the Sky Realm's light in its hour of need? You can't be serious! It's for your own good. But if you can't handle this, you won't be able to save the world. The battles awaiting you will be harsher than you can imagine. So show me that you have what it takes to overcome them. Rosetta is right, Gran. If we can't defeat her, we won't be able to fix anything. Looks like we got no choice but to set her mind at ease then. We'll show her just how ready we are. All right. Rosetta, here I come. Rose Queen shall test you. Prove yourselves. Get stuck. Behold my true power. How about this? I play. Do it. Know your place. Behold my true power. Among the prime is unbalanced. Take the power of the Lord of Flame! Lowen Wolf! Let me ensnare your mind! Domination Field! Lowen Wolf! Quest clear! How is what a waste out? of time. You've all grown so much. You're prepared. I'm sure of it now. Leave the rest to us, Rosetta. We won't let this go any further. The girl in blue, the red dragon, and the singularity. You three are the keys to ending this chaos. But those who wish to see it through will no doubt come for you. With everyone standing by us, there's no way we'll lose. We know you're here fighting for us too, Rosetta. <laughs> Always. It's time for you to set out for Pandemonium. The final battle awaits. Belial said someone was sealed there, but do you know who? Indeed. An astral by the name of Beelzebub. Beelzebub. But why does a single astral have this much power? That I don't know. All I know for certain is that he's no ordinary astral. He's something unique. Belial is clearly hoping that Beelzebub's return will bring about the end of the world. Does that mean this Beelzebub is another puppet dancing on Belial's strings? Perhaps. Beelzebub is the one whose power is warping the very nature of reality. But even so, that Belial character may pose an even greater threat. Wise with the details. If you ask me, they both need a timeout of epic proportions. We can't waste any more time. Next stop, Pandemonium. I'm counting on you. I'll hold out here as long as I can. Pandemonium, huh? Should be able to make the trip in under half a day. Time is not on our side. Full speed ahead, Rackham. Where do those jerks get off trying to wreck our world? They're going down! We'll stop them, no matter what. I don't know why, but I can't shake this awful feeling. Like there are all sorts of bad things just around the corner. See that? That blue-haired girl is a hell of a find. She has the power to manipulate primal beasts. That's a stroke of luck for us. 
The primal beast with the roses is already bound to this island. A worthless mark at this point. Let's follow the girl instead. Sounds smart. Let's get moving. First step to saving the skies, collect your crew. But as we traveled between islands, things only got stranger and stranger. At last, we caught up with Rosetta in the forests of Lumassier. There, we thought we'd find the source of all the trouble, but that kind of blew up in our face. That man, Belial, is no longer on this island. He isn't, but both Fairy and Percival ran into him. Yes. It seems he came here to investigate the forest, but he wasn't dumb enough to fight both Zoe and I at once. Then where would he go? Jita, we're dealing with someone incredibly dangerous. I won't answer if you intend to follow him. But he's causing mayhem all over the skies. I can't just leave him to it. <laughs> I should have known you'd say that. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Belial is bound for pandemonium. That's where you must go. That place again? Eh, with you by our side, Belial won't stand a chance. I'm sorry. I can't go with you. But why, Rosetta? If I were to leave my post, the chaos you've been seeing will only spread faster. So, it's up to all of you. First though, Jita, I need you to prove to me that you're prepared, as the Singularity, to be the Sky Realm's light in its hour of need. <laughs> Good joke. Come on already. The battles awaiting you will be harsher than you can imagine. So show me that you have what it takes to overcome them. Rosetta's right, Jita. If we can't defeat her, we won't be able to fix anything. Looks like we got no choice but to set her mind at ease then. We'll show her just how ready we are! All right, Rosetta, here I come! You've all grown so much. You're prepared. I'm sure of it now. It's time for you to set out for Pandemonium. The final battle awaits. Thanks for the practice round, I guess. Keep up the good fight now. We'll take care of the ones who started this. We passed Rosetta's trial, said our goodbyes, and set a course for Pandemonium. Belial, Beelzebub, hope you're ready. I see, Rose Queen, that you have sent them on their way. Singularity. I wonder what lies in store for you. Singularity. No. Gran, are you ready? What a peculiar vision. The Singularity did not seem herself. Is this yet another effect of the encroaching chaos? The only one who can save the skies now is you, Jita. I simply pray I'm not too late. Boxer Bubs. Oh, you're back. Did you miss me? That beast who calls herself the Keeper of the Balance sniffed me out, I'm afraid. <sighs> I was having such a good time playing with the Singularity's little friends until she showed up. The beast presiding over Balance, the vanguard of the cosmos. Has she been in contact with the Singularity? Oh, I assume so. Which means they're probably headed this way as we speak. <laughs> Perfect. I'll use the dragon's voice to end her as well. Hmm, the dragon's voice, huh? I see. Don't stray from the group. 
Pandemonium is not to be taken lightly. Its strategic location will make the perfect base of operations for our takeover of the Skydom. It's crucial to our victory, so stay on your guard. Hmm. Sounds like some of Causality's lost sheep have wandered our way. Livestock at least have some utility. Those are just carrion flies. But perhaps swatting them will provide some diversion. Hey, hang on there, bubs. The seal's still intact. Why don't you let me... Ha! What a strange island. It seems to be completely deserted. Who the hell are you? Arrogant <laughs> insect. Repent your hubris at the bottom of the sky. That seal's still at about 70%, you know. You can't be throwing your weight around like this. Your body's only a mental projection at this point. What do you think will happen if you overexert yourself? Like flicking an ant off the dinner table. That wasn't even a test run. So, what now? Is it time for the main event? Yes. You take the red dragon and get the singularity's attention. I will force the wings of terror to unfurl. Okay. You really know how to put a boy through his paces. <laughs> so, he's going to trigger the end of the world using one of the gods' wings. <laughs> this should be good. Foolish sky dwellers. You pay for trapping me in this prison. When I return, it will be as sovereign of a new world. A perfect layering of multiple causalities. Your worthless husks will be scattered into the void. I shall rule over it all. Transcendent. The singularity who holds space time, and all the dimensions in his fist. Turbulence, but I'll get us to Pandemonium as fast as I can. Hold on to your hats, folks. Flying objects incoming. Black crystals. It's Exia! What are they doing flying out here in the middle of nowhere? I think this is a sign. Beelzebub's power over the skies? It's growing. Let's knock as many of them out of the sky as we can! Mooks learn their lesson yet? Looks like we'll have to teach them again, Gran. No way! Be careful, okay? Incoming! Ooh, just feel those smooth scales. If I'm not careful, I could get addicted to this. Did he get here? I didn't see him come aboard. Burn! Ugh. Let me go, you creep sandwich! Unhand Vern this instant. No need to get so upset. I'm just checking up on his scale care regimen. Polished to perfection, I see. Now, to business. We've come to hear the dragon's voice. Isn't that right, Bubs? 
The dragon's voice. Someone else for a change, Bubs. Orchestrating this entire affair. We have to do something. At this rate, Bahamut's gonna knock the whole ship out of the sky. Not so fast. That primal beast is coming with us. Mm, big fella, isn't he? And he's all mine. So pause off, Basaraga. Loose lips, Seda. Raga? Hey, you heard of me. Guess I've made quite the name for myself. <sighs> Looks like Red's had her brain scrambled too. Red? Excuse me. Where do you get off giving nicknames to people you just met, you overgrown ghetto? I'm not sure what we should do here. Nuh-uh, Vassaraga. I can see you itching to get your hands dirty. Zeta, that dragon is about to sink this ship. This is a two-person job. Are you kidding me? That's my bounty. Play with the crew if you're poor. You can't handle that dragon alone. I'm not even certain the two of us can. If we waste time fighting these people, we'll all wind up at the bottom of the sky. They want to get the dragon under control, too. It makes more sense to join forces. Is that helmet on too tight? I said I've got this. Fine. Have it your way. Didn't think you were this unreasonable. I'll handle this. Oh! It falls to me to observe whether you can overcome the false wyvern levery you now face. I will restrain Bahamut while you return those two to their senses. Thanks! Sounds like a plan! Wait a minute. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> She's made things easier for us. We can take care of these Skyfarers first. Uh, I guess so. Fine then. Let's get to it. to get brainwashed so far. Watch yourself, Gran. You don't have to remind me. Show me what you've got. <laughs> Sit 
this one out. I'll take it from here. Leave this to me. Be careful, okay? Zeta, what have we been doing? Are you two all right? Lyria? Oh, uh, wait. Did we just fight all of you? We can get you up to speed later. Right now, we've got bigger problems. It seems slowing him down is the most I can hope to do in my present state. Only the Singularity could hope to stop him. And he's imbued with Beelzebub's chaotic power. Singularity. No. Gran, are you ready? We are. We'll take it from here. Very well. Let Beelzebub see the flash of your blade all the way from Pandemonium. This is Bahamut we're talking about. It's going to take every one of us working together. Yep. Roll up your sleeves, kids. Gotta get this primal down for his nap. With this many of us, there's no way we'll lose. Don't forget to count us, too. All right, let's do this, Graham. I need you all with me, now more than ever. We can't afford to fail. Right. We've heard the dragon's voice. Is that the final trigger? Yes. That was the trumpet sounding the world's return to the nothing it set out from. The wheels may be missing a spoke or two, but the caravan will reach its destination nonetheless. I've swallowed up the remnants of the omnipotent's power and folded it into my own. What are you going to do about the singularity? Not even Bahamut stopped him. That's gotta worry you a little. With Chaos Matter and Reverses at my command, once I can move freely through the world, the Singularity will pose no threat. I will take my rightful place as the true Singularity of this world. I see. So can I put you down for imminent arrival? Yes. Okay, then I may as well play with them a little. In the meantime, Beelzebub is on his way to becoming a new singularity. His mere existence has a destructive influence. If he is fully restored, it will accelerate the corruption of causality, and the whole world could be overwritten. At this point, there is no way to prevent that restoration. Our best option is to defeat him as soon as possible, and eliminate him entirely. But where did this crazy, powerful dude come from in the first place? I'm not sure of the particulars, but he is an astral whose destiny has taken a strangely twisted path. And I can sense traces of power in him from the depths of the sky from the other world. I think it may be fair to say that he should not exist in this world. He shouldn't exist in this world? Gran, you and those who fight by your side are the only ones who can stop him. From here on out, you cannot afford to hesitate. This is what the world has chosen. Ugh. 
I have done all I can as Keeper of the Balance. Go. You need to reach Pandemonium. And soon, two singularities coexisting. The Spear of Fate pierces both past and future. Poised to redefine the world itself. I will be watching. Uh, so, what was Miss Flippy Hair talking about? <sighs> Let's just focus on getting to Pandemonium. Hey. Thanks, by the way. I can't believe we got our heads messed with like that. That primal beast said you and those who stand beside you have the power to stop Beelzebub, or whatever his name is. So we're with you. If we're the only ones who can stop him, then so be it. We'd be grateful to have your support. Let's finish this together. Next stop, the final showdown! Beelzebub won't know what hit him. Yeah! We can do it! I'll handle this. It is my duty to see that you overcome this false trial, this so-called wyvern reverie. I will restrain Bahamut, so you can return your friends to their senses. Thanks. Sounds like a plan. Dimensional fusion? What are you talking about? What does that mean? Can I not defeat you in this dimension either? will destroy the boundary between dimensions. <laughs> yeah. It can't be. If that happened, the skies would be doomed. No. No matter what happens, I cannot allow the world to sink into chaos. I will win this fight. I will overcome this twisted reality. Do it? Have I stopped the corruption? Or is it simply because Beelzebub's dominion over chaos has weakened? <laughs> Wait, what did I just say? Why do I feel as if I've already seen this outcome? This feeling is altogether warped and clear, like staring at reflections of past memories. But now, the ripples are starting to calm. The picture is becoming whole. Are these visions? Could they really all be from other dimensions? Bahamut, please tell me. Have Beelzebub's ambitions been realized? I see. So I was already caught in the net of warped realities. Another threat! Even greater than Beelzebub and the Serpent! How is that possible? Seems the Sky Realm has yet to face its greatest challenge, but I cannot be the one to fight it. Is everyone all right? We're fine. Thanks, Zoe. We really owe you one. Yeah, thanks to you, Red and Spiky are back to normal too. I have done all I can as Keeper of the Balance. Go. You need to reach Pandemonium. And soon, two singularities coexist atop the Spear of Fate, which pierces both past and future. Should they raise its cruel point, they risk restructuring the Sky Realm. I will be watching. Right. Onward to Pandemonium, then. I know we can do it! 
Gran and the others can handle this mission. I must trust in them, even if it means the world itself will be remade. Yes, the skies teeter on the brink of another cataclysm, but the singularity must be the one to restore balance this time. And yet, I do not wish to stand idle. There must be some way I can help. Byproduct of taking the fastest Skyway. A little shaking is worth the speed, so just hold on to your pigtails. Time is of the essence. We have to make it to Pandemonium before Beelzebub revives. This hypothesis doesn't hold water either. Perhaps my calculations are off. What if I missed? Maybe I should reanalyze the samples I took. Just as I suspected, the barrier was perfect. In which case, let's examine things from a different angle. What could Beelzebub have hidden from me? How did he break free from a containment spell designed specifically to bind a primal? My only clue, a fragment from one of those Exia creatures. He appeared around the same time as Beelzebub's reappearance. Doesn't take a genius to see the correlation. Hmm... So, that's how it is. <laughs> Greetings, peons, and rejoice! For I have brilliantly determined the necessary steps to reseal that oath. Wait, you mean we're gonna try to trap Beelzebub again? That didn't end so well the first time. Yeah, we try to lock him up. Won't he just break free all over again? Huh, we've got a secret weapon on our side this time. You'll recall the black crystalline monster known as Exia, yes? Yeah, the ones who were controlling our friends. Well, it seems that Exia and Beelzebub are intimately connected. I'll spare you the details, but if I can delve into Exia's structure just a bit more, I'll understand how he escaped my first spell. And once I have that knowledge under my ribbon, he'll rue the day he ever messed with me. I'll make the bonds tighter than he could ever imagine. That enthusiasm never gets old, does it? I have to take responsibility for my failed seal. I'll look at as a genius if she can't wipe her own ass, you know? And the more I learn about Beelzebub, the more alluring he becomes. There are a few potential research subjects that pique my interest, like Mr. Broody Locks. <laughs> Yay! It's here, it's here! My lovely sample has arrived! You're the last stage of my latest experiment. Come over here so I can run the scientific method all over your face! The 
unstable power of chaos. If I were to hit it with the opposite formulation during the reverse phase... <laughs> Thus, my theory is complete. All that's left is to prepare the barrier that will prove it true. Pandemonium's coming up hot! Brace for landing! Aye, aye, Captain! Leave everything else to the world's most adorable alchemist, Cagliostro! I'll try and moor the Grand Cipher to that platform at the summit. Look alive, people. Right. This is no time to be timid. The very fate of the skies depends on us. Not to mention Belial must be here. He practically handed us an engraved invitation. It's time we settled the score with him once and for all. Yeah! We won't get away with rewriting creation on our watch! This is it, everyone. The skies are counting on us! about Shocksville when Red and Spiky suddenly showed up on the ship. You're both scary enough when you're fighting with us, let alone against us. Sorry about that, you guys. I can't believe I acted like that. I didn't even realize someone was screwing with me. I know how you feel. It's not easy to wash the stain of regret from your hands, especially after raising your weapon against a friend. You shouldn't blame yourself, Catalina. It's all because of the... Distortion in Exia. Ha. Speaking of which, this is the enemy base. It's probably crawling with Exia inside. Fine by me. I could use a warm-up before the main event. As long as they can't get into my head, there's no way I'll lose. Spear of our best, conform to my faith and become a piercing fang! for the same trick twice. You're amazing, Zeta. <laughs> this is Red we're talking about. She and her spear are a force to be reckoned with. Of course. What would you expect from Arbes's contractor? I can't count how many times I've fought alone against primal beasts. Well, just me and my spear. But then someone comes along and manipulates us for their own gain. It's a welcome relief to have you back as an ally. The last thing we need is to face each other as enemies. I hate buffoons who resort to dirty tricks. I'll make them regret ever crossing me. I swear I can see the steam coming off you. Mind keeping your cool when showtime rolls around? Keep my cool? I'm gonna give that Beelzebub bozo the beating of a lifetime. Our world is in trouble. We've gotta do anything and everything to help it out. Yeah, otherwise there'll be no tomorrow. Let's go. I sense a sinister force up ahead. Perfect. Get your game faces on, you guys. Let's put an end to this farce.
Ran, I apologize for the trouble Zeta and I caused you. Hmm. Exia and Beelzebub, was it? Jeez. We're dealing with some real slime balls here. Yes. They sow discord within our ranks to turn us against each other. We've never encountered foes with this kind of power before. Anything could happen past this point. It really is great to see you and Zeta back to normal, though. Yeah, it was not fun being on your bad side. Happy to have the return of the old duo. For all my physical strength, it doesn't compare to the mental fortitude possessed by you, Gran, and Lyria. You've all grown so much stronger in every sense of the word. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Look, the bad guys are rolling out the red carpet. You gotta love that VIP treatment. <laughs> I think I should let off some steam before facing the one responsible for all this. Agreed. This'll make for a nice warm-up. How far will my strength carry me against unfamiliar enemies? Let's find out. Ugh. Way to go, Spikey! You crushed those small fry! Is anyone hurt? Nope. We're all fine. The Red Dragon and the girl in blue. Huh? What about us? To arrive at this point, you have overcome far more than I expected. But there is still more to come. However, Ran will surely keep you both safe. I can't say I could do the same for you. Take hold of each other's hands and never let go. Come what may, you must overcome it together. I know the three of you can do it. We won't let you down. Yeah, that was always the plan anyway. Gran's my best buddy after all. And you're our friend too, Spikey. So don't you go anywhere. I see. I guess you're right. You've really taken a shine to those guys. Hmm. Perhaps I could say the same about you, Zeta. Yeah, maybe. Would hate to let them settle this mess alone. Which is exactly why Beelzebub must be defeated. Let's go, buddy. Buddy? <laughs> Where did that come from? Vern says it all the time. Maybe it's starting to rub off on me. <laughs> Excuse me? been waiting, Singularity. So, you finally came. I did my best to get you excited for this. Would you say... had enough foreplay? I'm eager for the night to really begin. You deviant! What are you thinking? You know what Beelzebub's return means for the skies! Is this really what you want? Chaos on every island? The corruption and destruction of this entire world? Yeah! We won't let you get away with it! No, no. You've got me all wrong. This wasn't how I wanted things to go at all. The grand finale I... No, we wanted was much cleaner. But no use fretting over spilled chaos. I can still make something beautiful out of this. You arrogant little... We whooped you once! You think we can't do it again? Be careful, everyone. Ran, something feels off about this. Yeah, something definitely stinks. You can never tell what this weirdo will do next. Not that. It's not him. I'm sensing something else. <gasps> what is it? Don't leave me in the dark. Hmm? Morning, bubs. Sleep well? You look a little... overexcited. Did you just... stick me with chaos matter? I pierced your core. Even you won't come back from that. 
Return to nothing, and give my regards to Lucilius. Oh, Bobs, how could you? Uh, and after I tried so hard to put your head down. Hey! Just what the heck is going on? Uh. Is Pandemonium falling? Well, shoot, let's not go down with it. Everybody back to the Grand Cipher. But what about those guys? I don't think Avatar's about to let us go peacefully. I will topple Pandemonium to the Crimson Horizon. The shockwaves will destroy the boundary between dimensions and obliterate both worlds. You brought chaos to the Skydom by manipulating people's memories. Then you drove primal beasts to madness. Why are you causing all this suffering? I know you've noticed the corruption of causality spreading from pandemonium. Warping causality loosens the threads that stitch memories together. Soon, I will dismantle not only that, but matter itself, and the very rules which govern it. And then, I will rebuild it all in the new world. I will be the font of all order. All creation will flow as directed by its undisputed sovereign. The thunder of Pandemonium's fall will herald the dawn of my reign. So, knocking Pandemonium down to the Crimson Horizon will reset the whole world? Can't really wrap my head around all the mumbo-jumbo he was spouting. But he sure looks like he believes it. Can't possibly be true. Bubs's grand finale might sound similar to what Lucilius envisioned, but it's fundamentally different. Be that as it may, they both start from the same place. If you open that door, which will you find on the other side? Which grand finale will you step into, Similarity? Or can you find a third option? You bet I can! I won't let anyone end the world! We'll never give up! Not even if the apocalypse is breathing down our necks! The world doesn't belong to any one person! It belongs to everyone who lives in these skies! There are countless lives at stake! You don't get to decide what to do with them! Just so you can recreate the world as your plaything! Not while there's still breath in my body! Red Dragon... Girl in blue. Singularity. The inescapable chains of causality have brought you all here to Pandemonium Summit. On this day, at this hour, at this very moment, all things will coalesce, and I, in turn, will subsume their totality. We stand a mere breath away from inevitability. You are helpless to stop this fusion. You will be the first to feel Oblivion's embrace. for some singularity on singularity action. Talk about a must-see show. I wanted to gussy myself up for the big event, but looks like I missed my chance. Now that I've got verses, it's time to kick the search for Silius into high gear. I imagine Bob's is pretty steamy right about now. If he survived, that is. Maybe there's no hurry, though. 
I can use these cute little guys until the right moment comes along. There you are. Was that you, Bubs? But where? Oh, of course. He's communicating through Exia. It is made of chaos matter, after all. Very clever, Bubs. Could have had a bright future as an engineer or something. Oops. Sounds like we got cut off. So I'm on cleanup duty, huh? I guess that figures. Oh, Bubs. You really must be desperate if you sent this after me. Just shows how much you had writing on verses, I guess. <clears throat> Come on now. I thought it was only supposed to hurt the first time. <sighs> These things must still be acting under his influence. And I thought I was insatiable. Though he did warp causality by pure force of will, who knows what he'll pull out next. If he makes a return to the stage, it might be curtains before the lights even come up. <laughs> but let's stay positive. Silver linings belie. <laughs> After all, the singularity's next on my dance card. Any weaker, that's for sure. No worries! You've got the world's most adorable super genius alchemist on your side! Stand back, Gran. I've readied the barrier. All that's left now is to deploy it. Don't take him lightly, Cagliostro. He. Did you forget who I am? I don't waste my energy on futile efforts. Now take your leave, Captain. Long time no see! been enjoying your bit of freedom, have you? The mouthy little moth. I have not forgotten that wretched face. <laughs> you remember little old me? Have I gained a fan? I merely acknowledge your worth. A shame, then, that you will soon taste death. Ah, I bet you say that to all of the thousand-year-old alchemists. Well, do your worst. Not over. I'm not through. Wrong, Bucko. This is the end of the line for you. You might as well give up already. The barrier's complete by now. 
I finished it in the middle of our fight. What? How? You worm. You maggot. <laughs> why don't you take a hundred years? Hell, why not a thousand? Figure it out yourself. But don't worry. If that's not enough time for your feeble brain to... Huh? What's this? You've got to be shitting me. There were zero flaws in my spell. What in the skies could have happened? Cagliostro! Is everything okay? Sorry. I've been had. That bastard had another trick up his sleeve. But it's evident he's exhausted his reserves. If we're gonna beat him for good, it's now or never. Right. Got it. We'll take over from here. Roger that, Captain. Be careful, okay? Curses. This is pathetic. Hopefully you can solve what I couldn't, Gran. Oof, that was a close call. Glad Bubs pulled out when he did. She almost had him bursting. This alchemy business, maybe I should pay it some more attention. Hmm, then again, she was only able to strip Bubs and his little exia pets. If I could just drench him in my blood, the bit that was corrupted by chaos matter when he ran me through, then the residual darkness should activate and reset us back to zero. <laughs> just as I planned. But does Bubs even deserve it? After hiding such a delectable toy from me? Maybe after he and the Singularity have utterly destroyed each other, then I'll have a chance to play with it myself. Ah, oh, desire tastes sweeter during the final hour. <laughs> End this isn't it? It certainly looks like it. The wind, the scent of the grass. What's going on? The last thing I remember, pandemonium was crumbling and taking us with it. <sighs> right. We were on top of pandemonium, and it was falling to the crimson horizon. So what the hell happened after that? If pandemonium had actually fallen, the world would have been reset, right? But it looks like this island and the town are all right. Does that mean Pandemonium didn't fall? Maybe we can get some more information from the townspeople.
Come one, come all. Got a new shipment of fabrics. Softer and more lustrous than any silk you've ever seen. Everything seems peaceful. Almost like none of that ever happened. Couldn't have been a dream, could it? <laughs> Don't be silly. Well, if it isn't Grand and the Grand Cypher crew. Sierra. I'm glad to see you looking well. Things seem to have settled down all over the Skydom, too. I assume we have you to thank for that. The islands are all back to normal? Does that mean the power changing the skies is gone? Because we prevented Beelzebub's revival? Hmm? Is something wrong? Oh! Before I forget! About the food and water for the Grand Cypher. The Grand Cypher is here? In Port Breeze? Don't you remember? You dug just up the road. She was still moored there when I passed by earlier. Oh, yeah, of course. No, wait, what? what? The Grand Cypher was moored to Pandemonium. Yes, this doesn't add up. I'm worried about Rosetta and Eugen. If the Grand Cypher is really here, then can we go check on them? One piece. Guess you handled whoever started this mess, huh? We haven't had any visits from weird machines or angry goddesses lately, so that's a relief. Although now, something else fishy is going on. Seems like a lot of people's accounts of what happened recently don't line up with each other. Their memories don't match. It's kind of a mess. Got any idea what might have caused it? It appears that you prevented Beelzebub's return. I knew you could do it. It might be a bit too early to celebrate, though. I have a feeling this isn't over just yet. Strange things have been happening here, too. Changes in the shape and nature of this forest. It's as if two once diverging forests have converged. Their ever-growing roots and branches now entangled like never before. So our misgivings weren't misplaced. The unnatural incidents all over the Skydom have stopped. But things aren't back to normal, like Eugen and Rosetta said. People's memories not lining up, and the forest being all mixed and matched. It doesn't seem like anything too awful right now, but... They say Beelzebub's power has disappeared, and they can't sense him anymore. Can't say I'm satisfied with this. Do we put a bow on it anyway? Splendid work defeating Beelzebub. Unfortunately, the world still finds itself in a complicated state of affairs. What do you mean? You could say that the world has... whiplash. From the recoil that occurred when Beelzebub's power receded, and the laws of causality returned to normal, the balance may be stable for the moment, but there are faint tears in the fabric of causality in time. Those discrepancies are almost certain to invite further chaos. Sooner or later. Is that why people's memories are clashing? And the forests have changed? No. And just what happened to us? How did we get to Port Breeze? My memories of that final moment at Pandemonium are also unclear. When I regained my senses, I was lying on a nameless, deserted island. I'm sorry. <sighs> if Beelzebub's influence over the skies is gone, that should mean he's powerless, so we don't have to worry about the Sky Realm being reset anymore. Still, I feel like we're overlooking something incredibly important. What would you call this? Reincarnation? A time leap? No, neither of those quite fits. Shame those fake wings couldn't get you where you wanted to go, bubs. You could have just been satisfied with Celius's dark legacy. But no, you had to turn yourself into that monstrosity. Create those wings that rent whatever they touched. What did you need wings for, anyway? 
in a world without archangels. Lousy timing for this place to snap back to normal. Not to mention Bubs went and vanished without a word. I can't help feeling a little used. I don't even want to know what he'll do to me if he comes back. But maybe in this new world, I'll have a little more luck searching for Celius. I guess Versus is mine to play with now. Well, bye.
one core is all you really need. I'll just take this one. I saw my life flash before my eyes. So, this is Versus. A core formed as a byproduct of Bubs breaking free from that alchemist's seal. <clears throat> That's good. That's very good. That poor little seal didn't stand a chance. No wonder it burst. And I'm next. Here it comes. <clears throat> Now, all I need is a chance to slide in between the dimensions. Well, if it isn't the Cosmic Beast. Are you responsible for this? Uh-uh-uh. Don't tell me you plan to save your little friends there. I thought you were supposed to be defending the balance. Answer my question! Don't look at me. The party was already over when I got here. Ren is indispensable to this world. His life cannot be lost here. That's nice. You gonna do something about it? Destroy you and save them. There is no other course. You really are head over heels for the singularity. What a lucky boy, getting you all hot and bothered. Come on, little beastie, give me a try. Bet I can satisfy you better than he can. Game over. But don't worry, there's still the after party. Impossible. How did you... The Earth is waiting to embrace you, Peacekeeper! This the merging of worlds Bubs was so hot about. I was on edge for so long, but talk about an anti-climax. Well, he got half of what he was after. As for the other half, shame those fake wings couldn't get you where you wanted to go, Bubs. You could have just been satisfied with Silice's dark legacy, but no, you had to turn yourself into that monstrosity. Create those wings that rent whatever they touched. What did you need wings for anyway, in a world without archangels? Lousy timing for this place to snap back to normal. Not to mention, Bubs went and vanished without a word. I can't help feeling a little used. I don't even want to know what he'll do to me if he comes back. But maybe in this new world, I'll have a little more luck searching for Silius. Ooh, sounds like some of the pawns are back on the board. Buddy, could have sworn I just heard you say Lyria and Vern. How do you know them exactly? You trying to get fresh with Lyria? Huh? What does that even mean? <laughs> Finally, time for some singularity on singularity action. Talk about a must-see show. Can't say everything's gone according to plan, but we're still more or less on track. And isn't that the point of foreplay? To tease you until the main event. <laughs> it won't be much longer now. Wait for me.
see. So this is a dimension with no actual substance. Dimensionless, you could say. Damn you, serpent. Managed to steal it right out from under me. Having your core run through wasn't enough for you, eh? Are you planning to replace it with verses? Avaricious and little worm. You won't get another chance. When next I find you, I'll send you to hell before you have time to regret the error of your ways. No matter. Dimensional fusion was achieved. All that remains is for me to return from this dimensionless plane to the unified world and ascend the throne. So this place has roaches too. You entered this empty dimension to punish me. Don't make me laugh. Perhaps. But the fact that you're here means there's a way back for me as well. <laughs> Let's see if you can amuse me. in one piece. Hey, good work out there. Sorry I couldn't join you out in the field. Paper pushing at the port took longer than I expected. It's not your fault. If we didn't have you to take care of the official stuff, we'd probably never make it off the ground. Their logbooks were an absolute mess. Not sure how they expect us to get any work done under those conditions. Records not aligning with memories. Historical events appearing crisscrossed and out of place. It would seem confusion still lingers throughout the Skydom. But thankfully, none of that has been a major cause for alarm yet. Yes, well, you'll forgive me for wanting to be cautious. Say, isn't it almost lunchtime? Sierra said she'd provide us some grub. Said she'd make it real special, as a part of our reward for a job well done. Yay, food! <laughs> well, why don't you three head on over to the Knickknack Shack and report in? After we're finished unloading cargo, we'll follow suit. Okay. Vern, Grant, last one there's a rotten egg! Thanks for cleaning up. We'll see you at Sierra's. Yep. Tell her we said howdy. Look! We're almost there! Mm, whatever she's cooking, it smells great. You can say that again. Maybe we should wait for Rackham and Catalina. They wouldn't want to miss this. To assume I'd leave them anything but scraps. Uh, Vern, no! At least let me eat some too. Vern, Lyria, cool your chip. And they're gone. Yeesh. Hey, Sierra, we're back from. Huh? Didn't Lyria and Vern just rush in here? And where is Sierra? <laughs> Sounds like they're in the back room. That's... this way, I guess? Seriously, we've been up to our necks in jobs lately. And I don't mean to complain, you know. We love getting paid. It's just, I didn't even have time for a lunch break today. Thank goodness for you, Sierra. I'd be starving without this amazing spread. 
Who's that girl? One of Sierra's clients? I don't want to interrupt their conversation. Maybe I'll look for Lyria and Vern a while longer. Ah, there they are. Lyria! Lyria Vern! Vern! Huh? Did I just speak girl? Hey, buddy. Could have sworn I just heard you say Lyria and Vern. How do you know them exactly? You trying to get fresh with Lyria? Huh? What does that even mean? Lyria saved my life. Really? You too? Lyria's a regular angel, isn't she? Makes you wonder just how many people she saved. Right? But what about Vern? When did you meet him? Ah, uh, well, Vern's been my bud for a long time. We grew up together in Zinkenstill. Zinkenstill? I can't believe we're from the same island. Wait, but I don't remember ever seeing you. Uh, same goes for you. It's not like there were dozens of kids our age running around the place. Hmm. This girl. This guy. This, this is, is weird. weird. All right, I'm gonna ask once more. Where were you born? Zinkenstill! And where are we headed? Escalusia! Sheesh, it happened again. We're not getting anywhere like this. Fine, my turn. After fleeing Zinkenstill, where was the first place we landed? Port Breeze! What else? Ah, what is Vern's favorite thing in the whole Sky Realm? Apples! Ugh. This is impossible. No matter what we ask, you both seem like the captain. And perhaps even more telling, we all have distinct memories of you both. Hold your belt, Ruth. How is that even possible? We first met in Zinkenstein. Right. And our last big battle was in Pandemonium, fighting Beelzebub. Yep, that checks out. But whose memories are whose? Is Graham the copycat? Or is Jeta? And if they got the same memories, are there any caps to copy in the first place? What a mess. But someone is doing creative accounting with reality. And they mix the numbers up. How else do we explain all the contradictions? What if... What if this is what Zoe meant when she referred to tears in the fabric of reality? Now that you mention it... Eugen did send word about mass confusion in Auguste. It spread that far, huh? So, my vision was attempting to show me the collision of two fates. Huh? Zoe? What's going on? Can you explain this? At first I could not. But now that I see you with my own eyes, I understand what has transpired. The disarray that muddles the minds of Skydwellers. It is Beelzebub's doing. Beelzebub? But we already kicked his butt halfway across the Sky Realm. You, ahem, you both did indeed defeat him and managed to escape Pandemonium with your lives. However, you were not able to completely obstruct his plans. The confusion you feel, the confusion spreading across the islands, is no mere contradiction between record and memory. Dimension, phenomenon, causality, all of the factors that give shape to time and space have begun to warp and mix, till naught but chaos is left. Not on my watch. So, in layman's terms, you and I are two versions of the same person, from different dimensions? And with the world being all screwy, we've somehow managed to end up in the same place? Correct. Possibly due to your nature as singularities. But that is not all this chaos has wrought on the Sky Realm. With the fabric of reality twisting, we can no longer rely on the stability of time. We face unprecedented crises. I wish I could say that two versions of the same soul existing in one plane is the worst of our concerns. But it is likely that the past, present, and future will collide at some point, if they haven't already. Perhaps more dangerous is the possibility that this convergence will affect multiple worlds. Conditions have never been riper for unimaginable horrors to skulk their way into our skies. Yeesh, it's so hard to wrap your head around all this. I can think of but one man who can unravel this existential jumble. Beelzebub. Wait a stinking minute here. 
We took care of Beelzebub. How's a dead guy supposed to have power, huh? How much more do we have to do? You ask the wrong questions. It is not that he retains his power even though you defeated him. The fact that his power remains is proof that you did not crush him completely. You gotta be kidding me! Uh, you're right! It's not like we saw his final moments. We were fighting in Pandemonium, and then the next minute, poof! Back in Port Breeze! I was sure that he fell with Pandemonium. How would anyone come back from that? It matters not. Not when Chaos has returned to threaten the skies. We have precious little time. We must see that Beelzebub is vanquished totally, or suffer the consequences. Then we move out. The world won't last much longer like this. We'll wipe out Beelzebub in every last ounce of his power, before he can do anything else to our world! What, what is, is it, Lyria? Lyria? Dinner's ready. That and, well, Catalina said she wanted to talk to you about the island where Eo's staying. Okay, we'll talk before food then. Sorry, it's Gran that Catalina wants to speak with. Uh... Yo! Rackham's yelling for ya! Something about cargo or some such! Really? Tell him to hang on. Catalina got to me first. Oh boy. Actually, he wanted Cheetah. Uh, Man, you could cut the awkward on this ship with a knife. Hmm. Two singularities. Joining forces to put a stop to Beelzebub. A peculiar situation, to be sure. But Gran and Cheetah together stand a far better chance than either alone. But that still leaves one problem. It should not be possible for two of the very same singularities to coexist. Or rather, they should not be allowed to coexist. For two singularities to occupy the same plane, I can think of no greater perversion of the world's harmony. The crises of the Sky Realm are directly linked to the crises of its balance. Nothing should outweigh its protection, with so much on the line. And yet, is this the only way? Surely I've overlooked something. I must discuss something with you both. What is it, Zoe? I am the Peacemaker. The balance of this realm is under my jurisdiction. And thus, I can no longer ignore the presence of identical singularities occupying the same plane. Oh, how I wish it weren't you. But balance must be preserved. Wait. You can't mean what I think you mean. Draw your swords. One of you must die for the sake of all. I shall put you both to trial with all my power. Only the survivor may claim rights as the singularity and remain in this world. The Keeper of Balance has made her decree. Ready yourselves! Fight. I imagine you won't back down either. <sighs> Good. You really are another version of me. Yeah. And you're me, all right. Even if you look a little different. Are you going to go through with this? You should be friends. I couldn't bear it if either one of you was taken away from me. I know. But Zoe's right. Ran and I never should have met. Knowing who Zoe is, well, she must know best in these situations. <laughs> but I gotta admit, it's a lot easier to talk the talk than walk the walk. It shouldn't be like this. It's okay, Lyria. Whatever happens was meant to be. Exactly. Besides, now that we've met, whoever comes out on top will press on for the both of us. And I can say that because I know that's what I would do. It's gotta be this way. 
It seems you are prepared. Know that I will not spare you. My mission is absolute. Confront me with every fiber of your being. Test your resolve so that this world may know its singularity. Let us wreck the world shall the The order shall manifest. Understand your position. That two identical singularities coexisting in the same world presents a threat to that world's balance, but is there really no other way? Must we make such a sacrifice? This whole deal's above my pay grade, but the way I see it, you don't fix an engine by throwing out its best parts. If you want us to give up one of the captains, their death had better save at least two, not three. Guys, I should have known you'd make this difficult. You can say that again. We've got the most hard-headed crew in the Sky Realm. But that's what makes them great. Zoe, sorry, but I think this fight is over. <sighs> We're going to face this threat together, side by side. And we won't let our presence cause more chaos. Even if it does, well, we've got just the crew to fight back against it. Very well. Then I shall join your ranks to see this future come to fruition. What? That's great news! Hooray! <laughs> With you on our side, Zoe, we'll be unstoppable! And they lived happily ever after. But no, no, we mustn't hurry this. The climax will be all the sweeter if we edge our way there slowly. Two singularities vying to penetrate a single reality. The finer things in life should be savored. You're going to wear yourselves out at this rate. Save some for me, won't you? 
Almost time for Bubs' wake-up call. Oh, I'm going to absolutely relish this reunion. I heard it straight from the merchant's mouths, Sierra's included. As it turns out, Gran was the one who put a stop to all that strange business. Yep, Vera said the same thing. Apparently, the captain took his crew straight into the heart of pandemonium. She was hazy on the details, but considering these pesky anomalies haven't fully disappeared, I say there's still fish to fry. How about you, An? Think we need to gather up the gang? Hmm. Feels like we should at least get our story straight. While that does seem like the most reasonable course of action, doesn't it also strike you as the most predictable? It wouldn't do to underestimate the lion. We must assume he's already considered our response. I say, rather than worry about the rattle, we go directly for the head. Perhaps we can get him to spill his venom. Show him up with force, huh? Good work. But first we'll have to track him down. Hmm? Troops, surround the shop. We're up against two of the Eternals. Keep your heads on straight, or you might lose them. Well now, care to explain what this ruckus is about? <laughs> so you've decided to show yourselves. Good. That saves us the trouble of dragging you out. The Eternals are hereby under arrest for causing mass disturbance across the Sky Realm. Whoa, buddy. Hold your marbles for a sec. This has to be some kind of mistake. We've never caused mass disturbance. Surrender now. We've got the numerical advantage. Troops, get them. Man, I hate blockheads. <sighs> Look, we don't want to do anything rash, but we're not going to let you just throw us in a peg. I may um, seem rather biased, but I believe this misunderstanding is yet another anomaly. We aren't the culpable ones here. Not to mention the timing is too convenient. Do you think he's spun his trap already? What? You'd have to be psychic to plan this. Then again, they don't call him the Angel of Cunning for nothing. Maybe our war is just getting started. In which case, we must choose our next moves carefully. Forgive us, my martial fellows, but we can't tarry any longer. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Soldier. This way. Hurry up or the fun will be over. How? My whole regiment's wiped out and there's not a scratch on them. You really are monsters. Apologies, but we did try to warn you. Now if you'll be so kind as to stand down. Wow, you eternal boys still have it. Took you a lot of thrusting, but you managed to finish off all those men by yourselves. Who do we have here? Speak of the devil and he shall appear, is it? More like be careful what you wish for. No matter. We shall make you regret exposing yourself to us so carelessly. Rain. Shall we take this chat into a nearby cafe? Ah, actually, we were just in one, discussing how to find you. But now that you've appeared, would you care to tell us what happened in Pandemonium and what you've done to our realm? Hmm, haven't got a clue what you're talking about, but I'm getting all wet, and I do love a piping hot cup of joe. So why don't we... Are you gonna spend all day dodging our questions? We may not have Imperial authority like those soldiers back there, 
but we'll still take you into custody if we need to. Tie me up. For what crime? Fancy yourselves part of the Enforcers now? He's got no weaknesses. Never seen anything like it. Regular primals have nothing on him. It won't do if we both fall now. Escape and summon the rest of the Eternals. I'll keep him preoccupied for as long as I can. Gotcha. I'll leave you to it then. You know I can hear you, right? You're planning to gather all ten of your friends and gang up on me. While I wouldn't normally mind ten on one, your plan does sound a little cowardly, especially for a crew coward of the terror of the sky. Think of it as insurance. Victory is crucial when the stakes are this high. But first, you shall face the strongest spearmen these skies have ever seen. And I don't intend to die here. Huh. Have it your way. Oh, Eternals. If you can blow one away, you can blow them all away, right? An Eternal in the flesh. I've always dreamed about meeting you. It's time to live out my fantasies. Your words are useless. They won't affect me. The time has come. I shall leave you both. The Lone Sage must stand ready! To end all wars! You're getting on my nerves. Love to see you And a Genesis! Behold my spear! Finish! Almost passed out. Pass the Lance Infirto! Quest clear. I'd hate to be underestimated. You aren't close yet. Neither am I. Stalemates are such a turn-off. Not to mention, this downpour is awful. Any other day and I'd have worked harder for the title Conqueror of the Eternals. But I'll take a rain check for now. I'm afraid you're not going anywhere. Damn, you're persistent. If I come clean about Pandemonium, will you let me leave in peace? That depends on what you have to say. fully prepared to skewer him if he attempted to deceive me. But I don't detect even a hint of a lie. So, this is a new world. Quite hard to wrap my head around that, I admit. This wretch must still be hiding something. I can't permit him to escape. Wow. You really just stood there and listened to me? Feels nice to be trusted, but you just made a big mistake. Speak plainly. While we were sharing a romp down memory lane, you lost focus of your surroundings. Where are the singularities? Sure, they saved the world once, but will they get lucky again? With how warped these dimensions become, who's to say if even the Eternals are safe? And perhaps the seeds for greater terror have already been planted. Right behind you. Always one step ahead. I'm still unsure if I should trust that serpent's tongue. But Pandemonium and the Crimson Horizon. That was no more than a collision of two fronts before the storm. 
The tempest itself is still brewing, and I suspect there isn't a soul in these skies that can predict how deadly its winds will be. Look at this grub! Mm. No one's going hungry on the Grand Cypher. Not while I'm around. That's for sure. I think there's enough to last us through winter and then some. Now careful there. Those shopping bags are fit to burst. A ship full of sturdy skyfarers. This batch will be gone by the time we next reach harbor. I suppose you're right. I, for one, wouldn't mind a big helping of Chef Yule's finest desserts. Coming right up. About time we headed back, anyways. Ko and Yo are waiting. Oh, my shop. Huh? You hear that? Skies above? What in blue blazes happened here? Goblins, that's what. Those wart-covered galunks smashed and looted my wares. I get it. They have a bone to pick with the Empire, but they've ruined me. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't deserve this. Where are the creepers now? They ran down this street, probably planning to hit the fort while it's still under repair. And bury half the town in rubble? Not on my watch! Sosia, come on! We're right behind you! Who are you supposed to be? Oh, just another tourist. Yule's the name. A tourist? Then how's about you go back where you came from? This here's a goblin fort now! Hmm. Looks like we got ourselves a rat infestation to clear out. Sosia, cover me! Roger that. Ready when you are. You know, if you'd stood down, y'all might have gotten up with a spanking. But now, <laughs> it's all out fumigation. Hope you learned your lesson. And don't go causing any more trouble, you hear? Hey, associate. You saw that little shadow man just now, right? Reckon it's a new breed of goblin? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. But it scared me. More than a goblin ever could. It almost reminded me of Lady Ninetales. Oh, makes me wonder. You know how there's been a lot of strange events recently? What if these, uh, shadow creatures are involved? Hmm, you might be onto something. We should talk to Grant about this. And here he comes. Not a moment too late. Yule! Societ! I see you've been kicking villain butt, as usual. Gran and Jita, always there when you need them. Now, I've got a question for you, Cap. Then? Wait, which one of you is the captain? I mean, I know it's both of you, but that can't be... What? Did we always have two captains? Oh, I think I need to lie down. Saw this coming, but it's still kind of funny. <laughs> Try not to panic. We can explain.
You mean to tell me Belial showed himself to you? Yep, back in Albion. There he was, out of the blue. <laughs> Could hardly believe it myself. There's no telling what kind of mischief he's cooking up. But I'd bet a fat purse of rupees that it's going to give us all heartburn. had some kind of trick up his sleeve. No telling with that snake. That's why An and I, we decided it would be best to call the other Eternals. Good plan. If only we knew where the rest of your playmates were. may not be the closest bunch in the skies, but it is unusual for everyone to fall this far off the radar. On's out there searching for the gang as we speak, but something about this situation smells fishy. And that's why I came to check in with your crew. Had to make sure things were still ship shape on your end. <laughs> this certainly feels like deja vu. I reckon the world's done flipped upside down. We also thought to summon our associates. But we ran into the same problem. No one was to be found. It all goes back to this Belial fella, don't it? Gosh, my goosebumps are getting goosebumps. as if we're racing toward disaster, with no way of slowing down. Belial's original goal was Beelzebub's liberation. Well, that damn angel broke my seal and regained his power. So other than pissing me off, what's his new aim? Call it a handsome sword stud's intuition, but it feels like Beelzebub was the muscle, while Belial was the mastermind. It's likely our angel friend knew everything from the start. He's at least had a clear view of this whole mess of a chessboard. Ugh, so Belial's the real target. But he's continuing to operate from the shadows. Does that mean his plan is still in its infancy? Could be. Knowing him, though, he might just be getting his rocks off by causing a little more disorder. It's not a simple game to him, and it's not a simple coincidence he decided to show himself either. Even in Pandemonium, when his actions seemed wild and unpredictable, it was clear he was working toward a greater plan. We can't let Belial get away with, with whatever he's doing. Besides, he may be easier to catch than Beelzebub. <sighs> we have zero leads on him. I'm fun? I am sorry to spoil your enjoyment, but things cannot stay as they are. Yes, we understand. We have to restore peace to the skies, and the key to that is Beelzebub's defeat. You just leave that to old Yule here? 
It'll be a cinch to spank him silly. Talk to enough people, we latch on to, I don't know, a tiny smidgen of information? But all we've got is zilch. Sorry I couldn't be of more help, but Therese and Christy are also on the case. So, with any luck, something will turn up. Oh no, don't apologize. You've been very kind, lending us a hand even with another duel coming up. I appreciate that, Societ. And, just to let you know, the duel's being called off, probably. So, I guess you caught me at a good time after all. Called off? What for? The girl I'm up against had an accident, poor thing. She's not badly hurt, but we can't have her picking up more injuries. Oh, I hope she feels better soon. Um, what about the fans? Well, they've been looking forward to this, haven't they? Well, then let's give them a show. Introducing a new contender. Give it up for Firefox Duo. I owe you one anyhow. You do that for us? Oh, thank you. The fans will adore you. I can feel it. Heck yeah! I'll set the arena ablaze. Well, come on. That duel ain't gonna fight itself. The stage is ready. Let's make this an unforgettable show. How do we do that? You guessed it. Blow! Now, may I have this dance? You know, I'll take you up on that. We'll see which one of us has more love to give. Dogs fighting over scraps. Guess I see why blood sport's been popular for millennia. Still, it could use more spice. And I've got the perfect showstopper. No, it's him. How did he get so close? Lativa, you will! <laughs> nice dodge. You duelists are fierce. Oh, please. You've been dancing rings around me. But that ends now. <laughs> Bring it. Oh, nothing gets past you, does it? I could say the same about you. Thanks for the assist. Now, where's the chump that summoned those beasts? Oh, I oughta... Let it go for now. No one's hurt, and what's more, the fans thought it was part of the show. There's no need to do anything rash.
It was just for a second, but I sensed his power in the Exia. But why reveal himself now? Was this some kind of warning? This is where they fought, but Belial hasn't been seen since he escaped on. Let us hope we can find some physical indication of his whereabouts or motives. His interviews with the locals were fruitless. No one seems to have witnessed anything. I expected as much. Never have we dealt with a more cunning foe. We should check the other islands he's visited. Perhaps they'll provide us with more leads. Seriously? A pretty boy dressed in black? Can't we search for a sexy beach bunny instead? Soris, you take this mission seriously right now, mister. If we don't find him soon, there won't be anyone left to wear swimsuits. And after a goose day finally returned to the relaxing vacation spot it was meant to be. Do you want these shores to be empty again? Fine, fine. Made your point. Anyway, you'd think a black get-up would stick out in this bright sunlight, but nobody's seen a thing. There's no trace of him. Nor the Exia, thankfully. Fairy and I had quite the encounter with those pests. Well, shall we conclude that Belial has no traps to spring on us here? That's a safe call, which leaves us with only one more location to investigate. Pandemonium. He's been drawn to it like a moth to the flame, time and time again. You don't want a climax too soon, do you? At least relish the moment. Serpent, how dare you show your miserable countenance to me? I was too rash piercing away your core. This time, I shall incinerate every fiber of your being. Finally, a little bit of passion from you. But are you sure you want to tangle with me? After all, look at what I've got, the verses. And we've become quite intimate lately. So come at me all you want, Bubs. I'll finish you in the most satisfying of ways. Perfect. <laughs> I love my man silent. You know, despite our rocky road, I've got a lot to thank you for. And I don't want to kill you over a lover's spat. Schemes. No matter the twisted plans you unfurl, I act only for my own ends. <laughs> I wouldn't have you any other way. I've come to you with a chance to fulfill both of our desires. And this time, there's no fine print. You'll thank me once you're back in your rebooted world, tailor-made to your liking. <laughs> My desired world, is it? Do not play with your food, Serpent, lest you choke. Did you believe I wouldn't notice that this void is beyond the reach of the Primarchs? Wow. Sharp as attack. I'm actually impressed. Well, when did you realize? 
Did you enjoy leading me on? It was obvious. I had only to study the behavior of the Tetra elements. My suspicions were confirmed when you linked the barrier of pandemonium with the other world. Or should I say, this dimension. But it matters not, for soon the merging of all dimensions will be complete. My plans will come to fruition, and everything else is but a trivial concern, including the plane I inhabit. Oh, Bubs. All these dark plans. I can only handle so much. But you know, this newfangled world of yours reset itself in some funny ways. <laughs> like the singularity developing a female counterpart. So long as the singularity continues to exist, it does not matter what form it takes. And here I thought you were committed to total annihilation. But it seems you've got a chivalrous side. This world is full of wonders. Anyway, it's just as you said, the dimensions are merging. And two different planes of reality are soon to become one. Of course. And I shall claim the resultant world as its rightful ruler. <laughs> I'm afraid you won't. How to put it? The world doesn't revolve around you. Speak. <laughs> Wait. I thought you were the smart one now. The world spins upon the axis of the singularity, not you. It's those intrepid skyfarers, the centers of their respective universes. And I agree, their differing forms do mean very little in the grand scheme of things. Such slight differences are a matter of observation after all. It's their shared nature as the singularity that lends them significance. So you see, it's always going to be their dimension, even if you are the one who fabricated it. It stings to understand, doesn't it? You can play at being a third singularity all you want, but you're just a simple catalyst. <sighs> Not that any of this amounts to much more than foreplay. After all, you're my lovely little paws, arranged to break Silius free from his prison. How predictable. You still obsess over Lucilius. Let me offer my thanks to you once more, Bubs. You've been a great help. I don't know how Silius and I could have done it without you. Down, Bubs, you're getting rough. <sighs> Damnable, you silliest, to be buried between planes of reality and to mock me still. Jealous? <laughs> I don't blame you. One look at Silius is enough to make you explode. I love it. I will not suffer these games. Did he summon you from his rift? Of course not. That's a little far, even for him. The verses, on the other hand, well, you've seen only the very basics of its power. But some people don't have the range, I guess. All I did was use it to twist your perception. And look how effective that was. <sighs> Uh-uh-uh. You'll never find me, no matter how many worlds you collapse. You worm! I have been played for a fool. That accursed Lucilius and his pet viper. Despite their manipulation, 
I will have my world. Beelzebub! We knew you'd be here! The Skyfarers. Beelzebub, we'll end things for real now. You're not going to plunge the world into chaos any longer. These larvae are pawns of Belial and Lucilius. The same as I. To be used for such plans, we are nothing more than flies buzzing above dung. You will pay for this. You will pay dearly for this, Lucilius. When I finally sit upon my throne, I will tear you and your jester limb from limb. Uh, hello? We're about to clobber you, you know. I can't believe I must suffer such indignity. But I require tools myself, lest I never reach Lucilius. Uh, what? Ready your blades. I must test your power. Huh? Maybe you don't get it. We... Hush, boy. I need only that you show me the value of your fragile lives. And whether or not you have the metal, the strength required to break the bounds of causality. Miserable lives after all. You will be the foundation that topples Lucilius. <laughs> I could learn a thing or two from you, Bubs. Such delicious avarice. Belial! We knew you would come back to save your accomplice. Do not pair me with this wretch. He has defied even me with his cunning. He follows that pernicious fiend, Lucilius. They have been controlling everything from the start. Lucilius? I knew I had an awful feeling when Belial showed up again. We worked so hard with the Primarchs to seal Lucilius away. But I guess we're not done with him yet. Wait, Jita, Primarchs? No, I think... I should know what Primarchs are. Why does that sound so familiar? Whenever I try to remember, it's like my memory goes fuzzy. Gran? Your inability to recall is proof of Lucilius and his serpents meddling. And so is the reality of this new realm. The fact that Lucilius has removed his greatest foes, the Primarchs. A world without Primarchs? Gran, Jita, the feeling in all of our guts, the severe unease that this world has drifted course, it could be due to the absence of the Primarchs. Infinitesimal sky dwellers could never comprehend the fusion of dimensions. That's why the Primarchs once emerged, to combat the chaos that you lesser beings could not. But there are no Primarchs in this current dimension, and thus the Tetra elements are in disarray. There are few who plainly see the distortions. Those of us who hail from other planes, myself, Belial, and... Me, right? I remember all the Primarchs, as if I saw them just yesterday. It all points to Lucilius's perfectionism. He wouldn't permit any flaw, for that would be blasphemous to the Creator. Even from his prison, his indignation interfered with my ability to warp causality, resulting in the creation of this dimension. That doesn't sound good. Do you understand? All that live and die in these skies are but Lucilius's playthings. 
Whether I become king, whether you brazenly succeed in defying me, it won't change the inevitable. Not even if we stopped the dimensional fusion? When we fought you the first time, was that for nothing? So long as Lucilius remains in his rift, he can ignore dimensional boundaries, much like a god would. A god. He thinks himself above me, and I won't accept that. Lend me your aid, Singularities. Defeating Lucilius and his servant will stand only to benefit you both. <sighs> Gran, Jida, I'll respect whatever decision you choose. I fought beside the Primarchs. I saw how much they gave to protect this world. In a world without their existence? That's unthinkable. I... I want to protect these skies. These beautiful blue skies that so many call home. But they don't belong to anyone. Neither you nor Lucilius can lay claim to them. That's why we'll stop Lucilius and Belial from taking over this world. A spine after all, Mayfly. Let's be clear. This doesn't mean we'll just hand the skies over to you, Beelzebub. It means our final showdown is on pause. So you'd better get ready for bitter defeat while you still can. <laughs> you took the words from my lips. Let's go, Zeta. There's no difference between the fallen angel and regular primal beasts. Our weapons will be just as effective. Yep, I've got a whole backlog of anger to work through. So, we'll kick his ass till he cries for mercy. To protect these skies from chaos, that is my sacred duty, which I will not shirk. It sounds like an evildoer needs punishing. <laughs> Don't mind if I do! Our foes deserve utter defeat, and that is exactly what we shall give them. Crazy, bro. The whole world's gone bonkers. Well, I guess it's time your boy stepped up to the plate. Oh, I've missed his smug little face. I bet it'll look even better once I beat it black and blue. Take over a dimension on my watch, will ya? I'll punch all your teeth in! I applaud your ability to craft such cunning stratagems, but it's time to put them to an end. The final act is upon us. We have only to defeat that foul miscreant. The Sword of Righteousness stands ready to mete out justice! I finally get to stamp that sucker! I've been chomping at the bit! It's here, isn't it? The final battle. We'll put everything into this match. Looking back now, it makes perfect sense that all the mysterious incidents were the work of Belial. It's all right, Captain. Your big sister is here to protect you. Care if we stretch this out? I've been looking for a durable specimen. It sickens me to align myself with these Kratons. But I shall lift my head above the muck. For there is no greater pleasure than to foil Lucilius's plans. We'll stop you here and now, before you hurt our dimensions anymore! We'll protect our worlds, our very skies! <laughs> oh, I love it! Look at all these handsome participants! Let's throw an orgiastic feast!
quest clear. <laughs> Is it too late to use my safe word? As expected, you could not hold your own against our combined efforts. Now hand over the verses. No, I'm not one to let go of a toy that feels this good. Then I'll take your life instead, even if it makes for a poor substitute. What's that in the sky? A vortex? That doesn't look good. Everyone, back to the ship! Get ready to escape! Ren, wait! What about Belial and Beelzebub? Don't worry! We'll put an end to this! No, that's reckless! We'll put an end to this, and come back to you alive. So please, Catalina, get everyone to the Grand Cipher, now! <sighs> Understood. Don't you dare get carried away. If you wish to retreat, then I won't stop you. But by my very pride, I will bring Belial down, despite his little Eddie. Oh, hey now, it's not little. That's the future you're staring directly into, big guy. Evolution is born from chaos. And only the chaos of an apocalypse can break a god free from his cradle. Ah, can you hear him? It's about time for Lucilius' awakening. Huh? Gran, can you hear their voices? No, nothing. What is Belial saying? Woke you up too early, did I? But I was bulging with excitement. Okay, okay, I get it. Ah, <sighs> yes, that is my job. All right, I'll come pick you up. I know my life is on the line if I make you wait a second longer. Halt, serpent! He's gone. Have we seen the last of him? He has ripped open a path to the rift that holds his master. A void of pure chaos. But with his injuries and the loss of the verses, it will not be easy for him to return. Then we're good. Of course not. There's a chance that Lucilius has truly awakened. And perhaps worse, this place has become linked to the rift that holds him. Oh. Let's hope that's not the case. Judging by the serpent's murmuring, one can assume he was in communication with his master. Whatever the truth may be, should Lucilius truly awaken, I need only to bury him once more. He deserves a thousand deaths for the crime of toying with me. These guys, they're back to normal. Wait, but I'm still here. Does that mean our mixed-up dimensions didn't go back to normal? Dimensional fusion is irreversible. Think of a river which runs to the sea. They become the same water. Of course, one who possesses the power to warp causality stands before you. <clears throat> so in order to return the world to its original state, we have to take you down once and for all. <laughs> Even if I resent myself for allowing this, retire from here, Mayflies. Huh? Causality, singularity, and duplicity have all butted heads this day. This dimension is no longer stable. Then that vortex that appeared in the sky? Correct. If we brazenly fling our powers at one another, this fused realm will be swallowed whole by the dimensional rift. <sighs> I shall remain here. I will not lose the world that I deserve. We don't have many options, do we? I know we can't fight you now. But remember this. If you ever show your face again, we'll be there to take you down. <laughs> Buzz while you can, Mayfly. The fighting's over. But I can't shake the feeling we're not finished yet. Yeah, 
Beelzebub won't stop unless we kick his butt. And Belial and Lucilius are even worse. <sighs> Let's just head home. Everyone's waiting for us back on the Grand Cipher. Good call. All right, let's get out of here. We'll brief everyone when we get back.
Eustace, how are things going? <laughs> no luck either, huh? Singularities. Who are the singularities again? The astral fields above and some airship captain? Yeah. We've laid out plans for their termination. The investigation comes first. Then I'll keep snooping over yonder. If I nab the next lead, maybe HQ will finally give me that promotion. Elsa to Eustace. Check in. Eustace to Elsa. No new leads as of yet. What? But according to our data, a gap should have appeared near those coordinates. Gap? Yeah. Now that Beelzebub's back, he'll be trampling all over causality with his filthy boots again. And where causality crumbles, it leaves a gap. The region you were dispatched to, the Didroid Belt, was on the fringes of the warp zone when it was at its largest. Causality's been restored there for now. But the higher-ups are convinced that, if we want to observe these disruptions firsthand, that's the place to be. I see. I'll keep scoping out the area. Probably won't be easy. Sorry. Wish I had more to offer you than half-baked theories. But the Singularity Gran is already on the move. Seems his actions are shrinking the warp zone. Ergo, we have less time than preferred. What about Seda and Vasaraga? We can't let them collude with our enemies any longer. You have a hard choice ahead of you. You can betray the skies, or kill your comrades. Understood. Huh? Where'd you all come from? I'll cover you. I don't need your help. I can take them alone easy. <laughs> There's more now? Why are there more? The monsters are being drawn to that black crystal. I think I found our gap in causality. See that crystal over there? It's what's pulling the monsters in. Think you can help me clear a path? Oh, please. Does a hot knife cut through butter? Commencing mission. Monsters and Crystal exterminated, though I'd never seen the latter. Must have been Exia. Can't believe it appeared even after Beelzebub lost control over the place. <sighs> we have no choice. Commence Operation Omega. You and Beatrix will find Gran and Jeta and terminate them. Their airship, the Grand Cipher, is currently docked at Galonzo. Good luck out there. Understood. <laughs> Impressed yet? If it weren't for me... We're shifting to Operation Omega. Uh, yes, sir. how things come to this? Zeta. It's you and me, Zeta. No holds barred. What? V? Is this some kind of sorry attempt at a joke? Basaraga betrayed us. The singularities are destroying the skies, and you're helping them. I can't believe I looked up to you. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. These oh-so-terrible singularities you're talking about, they, uh, wouldn't happen to be Gran and Jita, would they? 
Yeah, they would. Our captain is... What... What am I even saying? Our captain? But why? Sorry, B. I think so. Wait, Eustace? Seems I have to work on my stealth. Zeta and Vasaraga warned me about an intruder. But I never thought it'd be you, Eustace. You know me, Singularity? Singularity? Oh no. Not you too! When you're dead, the skies will have peace again. Gran! Did you catch the... Oh. The Singularity. Jita, but how? Two captains? This shouldn't be possible. I've never seen either of them before. So why? Why can't I pull the trigger? Sorry, Eustace. I might have messed up. Oh, great. So Eustace is brainwashed too, huh? Well, not like I didn't see this coming. Follow me, Eustace. I'll make you remember. Even if I have to carve the truth into you. Wait, no, Vasarada! What are you thinking? Right then. May the best truth win. Daylight's not going to wait for us. Start, Eustace. Everything looks good to go. Your move, Vasaraga. Don't move a muscle. Let's see you Can you handle this? Flamec Thunder. Part the clouds. Did it! Great fight, Brenner! Open your maw! The beast is upon us! It's over. Eustace, no! Please, Eustace, you have to remember! We're your friends! We shouldn't be fighting! I think! V! You get your memories back? Look us in the eye, Eustace. Gran. Cheetah. I don't know why, but... I can't hurt them. I yield. As well. Don't be. No permanent damage done. And anyway, we would have done the same in your position. We did do the same. Exia got to us too. Made us forget all about the crew. But man, this is crazy. There are two whole captains! <laughs> well, looks like the Eustace and Beatrix we know are back. <sighs> Thank goodness. Because, um, to tell the truth, we could use some extra help. Oh, but what about our mission? Elsa to Eustace, what's your status? <sighs> Report. The mission failed. <sighs> Understood. We move on to plan B. Get out of there now. The anomaly we were searching for. It was us. 
We're working with the captains now. What? Don't tell me you're defecting. There are consequences, even for- Thank you, Eustace. I'm sure it wasn't an easy choice. Ah, uh, we'll have to patch things up with Sergeant Ilsa eventually. I like it a lot better when she's on our side. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have to go it alone after all. It's to be expected. We sent out the signal quite abruptly. Sakes? You... You actually returned my call! Here, bud. Pull up a chair. Order yourself something refreshing. It's on the house. No thanks. I was just passing through. More importantly, about Eustace's plan to murder the captains. What do you make of it? I don't see the motive. Yeesh, okay. Guess we can catch up later. So, we've got a working theory. But it might sound a little far-fetched. Essentially, Eustace learned about Gran and Jita's mutual existence as the Singularity, and how that could plunge the skies into chaos. So, they became his targets. Beatrix was in the same state of mind. Though they've both since returned to their senses, we're still unsure who or what's behind all this. No, you couldn't have. You didn't send for the Eternals because you think we'd go after Gran and Jita, did you? Whoa, of course not! This was just to get everyone in the loop. We all know exactly who the captains are. How could any of us mean them harm? More to the point, so long as whatever was manipulating Eustace still lurks in the shadows, our own situation remains precarious. Which is why we thought it would be nice to see everyone's faces, if you get my drift. Fair enough. You've made your point. Wait a minute! You sure you don't want to sit for a few? I need to get some air. Get my thoughts straight. If what they suggest is true, then my mind could end up just like Eustace's. I don't want to think about hurting Gran or Jita with my own hands. <sighs> Who was that? Wait, those movements seem familiar. What are you? I must ask you. Anomalies plague these skies, wrought by those captains, Gran and Jita. What if you could bring peace back? simply by removing these troublesome elements. Even if the solution were that simple, I would never attack the captains. Now, it's your turn to answer. Who are you? Come on, fellas! Can't you give it a rest? That voice... Sovan? <laughs> he disappeared! What is going on? Come quietly or face the music, criminal! Hey, calm down. If you want me to come quietly, let's talk this out like adults, hmm? Sova, explain yourself. It's nothing, honestly. I just got into a bit of a spat with these fine people, and it seems like they can't let it go. But you mind giving me a hand here? I might get carried away if they all charge up me together. Ugh, you're impossible. Wait, is that Seox? Two Eternals for the price of one. All right. Surrender now or there'll be hell to pay! <laughs> Don't worry. I won't harm them too badly. Hmm. 
Not even a warm cup of tea can melt that frosty exterior, can it? <sighs> Hello? Skies to Zayox. Are you upset with me? You've had that stern look on your face since this afternoon. No. I've had two complicated run-ins today. One was you, but the other... His cape was black, but everything else, his posture, breathing technique, intent to kill, it was all me. Hmm. I shudder to think we have an enemy possessed of your strength, but I know you aren't one to misjudge a foe. Perhaps this is another anomaly. I suspect it's similar to Eustace's tampered memories. Yeah, he was acting like a totally different person. Did this other Seox have anything to say? Only that Gran and Jita are the cause for the anomalies, and should be removed. My, that is certainly in line with Eustace's brainwashing. I'm starting to get a sick feeling in my stomach, and I don't think it's the tea. Let's go check in on the captains, okay? I'm afraid not. There's nothing wrong with my mind. But there's something very wrong with your continued existence. What? Forgive me. I wish it didn't have to be this way. Good to see you're both safe. Just in the nick of time. Wait, there are two of you? Seox! Is it really you? Is your memory okay? You've got the gist. Now stand back. I'll make you answer this time. Who are you? I am a being born from the warping of causality, who has surpassed as others found in parallel dimensions. I am the Seox of this new world. And as an Eternal of these skies, it's my duty to root out any who may disturb them. Even if that disturbance happens to be my captain. New World or not, it doesn't seem like Belial's pulling the strings. Agreed. No version of Seox would allow himself to be controlled. So, Vaughn, let's leave this to our true friend. You and I will assist Gran and Cheeta. Roger that. Our captains are in good hands. The sooner I can terminate the Singularities, the sooner this world will find peace. I'll deal with you later to tell me, even with our memories of the captains, you'll still kill them? I have to protect the Sky Realm. And in order to do that, the Singularities must die. Protect the Sky Realm? Who are the most important people to us in this Sky Realm? What a farce. I know all too well. But, but they have to die. I must complete my mission. One duty, to cleanse true the sins of my captain. Step forth! I will protect the captain from every foe. We're late to the party. Sorry about that. Hmm. I knew sacrifices would have to be made, but I never expected them to take this form. Why 
do I feel like I've executed myself? Is this punishment for siding with the captains? Have I denied this new world its peace? Uh, my mask! <laughs> yep, this proves you're the Seahawks we know and love after all. Whoa, you actually managed to snatch that right off his face. Remind me never to mess with you, Jita. Ran, don't encourage her. Help me get my mask back. I can't stand you two. So, um, I noticed you've had something on your mind since yesterday. It might help if you got it off your chest. It's my shadow. What he said hit a nerve. About Jita and I throwing the world into disaster? Yeah, his words rang true. Even if they were hard to believe. When Eustace went after Gran, he mentioned something similar. I thought that was just a blind accusation because he didn't know us. But now I'm starting to wonder, what if there is some truth in there? It could be the one truth in this universe, but I still wouldn't harm either of you. You're my captains. Nothing will change that. I regret only that you have any doubt at all. Thanks, Seox. Gren, Jita, my shadow was a being born from this new world. It wouldn't be a stretch of the imagination to assume other such beings could begin to make appearances. I know you'll both stay alert, but it would be best to inform the other crew members. You've got a point. Anything could happen from here on out. I'll make sure the rest of the crew stays up to speed. I hope we're overreacting. Not just for our sakes, but for the skies themselves. The encounter with my shadow could be an omen for future anomalies to come. But, no matter the trials we face, I'll always be there. You can count on me, Captain. All that Imperial drama sure was crazy, huh? Really put Albion through the ringer, didn't they? Do not exaggerate. We suffered no casualties whatsoever. Of more pressing concern are the strange occurrences plaguing the Skydoms. Though it seems we escaped the worst of it. Now, why don't you tell me why you've really come? Yikes. Uh... Well, the crew decided to stop by Albion for a breather and I decided to hitch a ride. Between you and me, seems like we're not completely out of the woods yet. As you might have surmised. Hmm? I have not. I thought this was all behind us. Must we contend with new irregularities so soon? Sure looks that way. While Anra and I were busy scuffling with the Empire, Seox was fighting his own doppelganger. And I'm not even exaggerating. He was just like the Seox we know. Same memories and everything. Only... This one was from a different dimension, apparently. He spouted some crazed nonsense about Gran and Jita leading the world into chaos and full-on attack them. Of course, the real Seox stepped up and... Eh, you know the rest. Do you believe it possible for more of these doppelgangers to appear? I fear the consequences should they manifest as other close allies of the Captains. I'd bet my sword collection on it. Until Seox... The Eternals haven't encountered much in the way of irregularities. But it looks like bigger problems might be on the horizon. To cut to the chase, I came here because I've got a bad feeling in my gut. You never know who's gonna be the next evil clone, right? Could it be? Catalina, this is what you would want, isn't it? Then I shall entrust your safety to Gran. Just this once. I left Catalina alone. To look after a mere stranger. 
Under no circumstances would I ever leave my devoted. Does this mean the feelings I possess for her are false? Does this mean that I am false? I would never abandon her. Would I? If I am not the true Vera Lilie, if I am but a doppelganger as Sofan has described, then I will undoubtedly betray those that I love. I will not allow that to pass. Hey, Vera. What's brought you out to our neck of the woods? It's been such a long time. So much has happened aboard the Grand Cipher while you've been gone. Where is Catalina? Uh, she said she had an errand, but she should be back any... Oh, there she is. Ah, Vera. We weren't expecting you. I have to apologize for what happened back in Albion. I wasn't... Your sword. Draw it. Vera? What are you doing? This is like Seox's other self all over again. We shall see. Gran, please stand down. I do not wish to harm you. <gasps> Gran, Lyria, stay back. I'll deal with her. Vera, what's the meaning of this? Why do you threaten me? A deceitful creature stands before you. I am broken. Fit only to be cut down. And yet, there is only one sword I wish to deliver my final moments. <sighs> Catalina, will you grant this pitiful wretch her final act of selfishness? Vera, if this is what you want, then so be it. It is. Pierce my heart, so that it may never harbor lies again! Vera, if you truly want to do this, no more lies. Please, Catalina, I beg of you, take my life! I was a fool to confront you. Even though I am a fraud, such is your kindness that you would perish before striking me down. Bearing witness to your would-be sacrifice, it's too much. I shall finish this myself! Wait, Vera. Do you truly believe you're a doppelganger? What evidence do you have? That day... I chose to prioritize my duty as Lord of Albion over your well-being. The true Vera would never do that. You are my everything. What greater proof do I need? You are the only thing in the world to me. Vera, you've come so far since we met. You didn't sacrifice me. You chose to save your people. That's proof of growth, not betrayal. You suggest that losing myself is growth? If I denounce my devotion to you, Catalina, then I am nothing. A void which can only be filled by your blade. I won't do that. I would never do that to you, Vera. And you are the real Vera. I don't want to see you hurting. Whether the damage is caused by my hand or your own. But can you risk letting me live? What of Gran and Jita's safety? If it comes to that, and I'm sure it won't, I'll stop you myself. So please, try to listen to what I'm saying. You've changed, that's true. But that's no reason to assume you're a Vera from another world. You're still the same person, just more mature. Catalina! Besides, the only reason you want to throw your life away is to protect Gran and Jita, right? You give everything you have to safeguard your friends, your city, and those you love. That kindness, that passion. There's no doubt in my mind you are the Vera Lilie that I know. You've deceived only yourself. And you have the power to break this illusion. I believe in you. And I always will.
Thank goodness you're both all right. That was wild. I'm glad you were able to talk her down, Catalina. It was nothing. Are you feeling more like yourself now, Vera? I suppose. I feel as though I shall never make amends for causing you all to suffer. There's no reason to feel guilty. At the end of the day, no one got hurt. Um... Hey, Catalina, are you feeling up for a few days off? I know your last vacation wasn't that long ago, but I think you might deserve another. That's a good idea. Your first vacation wasn't so restful, since you were brainwashed and all. <laughs> My constitution isn't that weak, but I'll take you up on the offer. Considering the circumstances, why not grant the whole crew extended shore leave? I have heard about your tireless efforts battling chaos. And I do feel the need to make amends for my foolhardy behavior. You would be special guests of the Lord of Albion, of course. Yay! How about it, Gran? We can spare the time to let everyone in on the fun, right? Why not? Besides, Jita would kill me if she didn't get a chance to see Vera. Let's get this vacation started.